Hi, Vod Channel. How you guys doing? And good to see you guys. Happy Halloween. I know when you're seeing this, it's not Halloween, but for us it is. That's why I'm dressed in orange. I'm all orange today. We're playing the Halloween update for Phasmo. Just chilling, having a great time. Uh, we're going to be going to Maple Lodge a lot because I actually have, I think I've only visited the new Maple Lodge like three times total. So I want to visit it uh, like for, for a few hours straight, just seeing if there's any secrets we can find. I know there's the Point Hope secret, which we will also be extensively talking about today. Um but not not i mean i guess we're gonna touch on it during the maple lodge video but this shit i want i want to like go past some of these riddles again and like show because i've made one single video on that once and then i never touched on it ever again um and then obviously besides that we're checking out the new weekly which is uh, no evidence which is very fun uh first we need to go say hi to youtube stream as well uh we're going to say hi to everyone lumby thank you for the 1500 biddies Hi, YouTube stream. How are you guys doing? Uh, good to see you all. Happy Halloween to you if you're watching this on Halloween. Otherwise, also happy Halloween. Uh, we're doing fast mode today. We're checking out the new Halloween update, uh, checking out the new Maple Lodge, and we're doing the challenge mode, which is no evidence, which is my favorite challenge. If you know me, you know that I'm going to love this one, and it's on Grafton, so that's going to be fun. Free 5,000. We also already did the Halloween event uh, when the event first came out, which gives you this beautiful trophy right here. If you want to get that, you got to go through the Halloween event, and it gives you Halloween badge plus Halloween emblem right here. Uh, we are also almost at max level. We need five more levels, and then we got all tier three unlocked. So we're going to be getting all tier three today. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, good to see you guys coming in over on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, happy Halloween to you. Look at the ghost door. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I teleported around. I know. If you if you go to this door, you get a spooky event to happen. The ghosts show up. This one, so they're never going to fix this hole that this guy has in his head, right? <laughs> are they? <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's, that was there last year, and it's here this year as well. Give me a hug. Give me a huggy. We're getting tackled by a bunch of ghosts. Boom. <laughs> CJ's never gonna fix that. Alrighty. Well, we already got the trophy, by the way. In case you didn't watch that video, we got the trophy for the Halloween event this year. This is it for last year. We finally have a series going here. I wonder what the series is gonna look like for... I'm assuming they're going to move down the Easter trophy to over here, and then we're going to get another Christmas trophy, uh, and then we're going to get uh, another Easter, which I'm, I wonder how they're going to change that up. So today the plan is I want to go to Maple Lodge a bunch, um, just see if there's any secrets or any fun stuff on Maple Lodge, and just experience the new Maple Lodge, because I've only visited it like three times. We're going to do the weekly challenge, which is no evidence, and we're going to talk about the new map probably that's gonna be add. i'm adding probably because otherwise i'm gonna get all the people on reddit are gonna fucking oh instant confirmed <laughs> there's nothing to confirm here i'm just dealing with the same info everyone has we have this easter egg right here and we have another easter egg on maple lodge which makes it pretty certain that we are getting a new map called point hope which we're going to be talking about as well so it's going to be fun thank you guys so much for joining me over on youtube i think we're just going to hop straight into the weekly challenge uh go say hi to regular youtube uh regular uh video youtube here we go <clears throat> Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today, we are back with another weekly challenge, and it is my favorite challenge in the entire game. You know me. You know I love this one. It is the no evidence challenge. These ghosts really don't want to help you out, but we're sure you're up to the task. This is going to be a really good time to test your skills and practice with no evidence without risking anything. No evidence, if you don't know, is uh, the way of playing the game without getting any evidence from the evidence items. Now, you can obviously get other types of evidence, such as is the ghost fast or slow is he hunting early or later etc etc the ghosts have so many different abilities in this game that you might not even ever use if you just play by getting emf writing etc but this challenge is going to force you to do that and i'm going to show you how to do all of that and it's going to be fun i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go all righty here we go baby i should check if this is actually running how do you tell if it's the twins? Uh, slower or faster uh, during a hunt, as well as potential twin interactions, as well as weird spaced out. The twins is one of the most, uh, has one of the most unique behaviors to itself. Like if you get a lot of spaced out uh, or far apart interactions, that is also potentially twins. There's a lot of stuff. But anyway, we're going to hop into Grafton. <clears throat> oh, baby. What are we doing today? We're ch starting with the new challenge and then we're doing all kinds of other fun stuff. 
Oh, baby, here we go. We got Kyle White. Uh, so we do actually <laughs> have the evidence items, but do not be fooled. Most of these are going to do nothing. The spirit box doesn't do anything. Writing book dots. Uh, the thermo can be used to find the ghost room. Why did they give us the tier two thermo? Disgusting. The tier one thermo is so much better for no evidence because you can way better track the roaming behavior, but whatever. Uh, the camera you can actually use for mimic specifically because the mimic has uh, an ability. It's not evidence. It is an ability where it will have several reports have noted ghost orb sightings near the mimic it's one of the most well-known abilities but it also works when you have no evidence and the emf is just nice to figure out where the ghost is now we do also have the screens luckily which will allow us to tell if it's early hunting or late hunting which is also a thing and if we get any two interactions or something we're just going to grab the tier two uh flashlight do we have we have tier one head cam so that's not happening i'm just gonna grab wait I'm, i grab both ems that seems a little bit much uh let's just see if we can find it we have snow weather as well we're on grafton that's where the weekly but what what's really important about the weekly which i think i picked up the key which i personally have never done but you can totally do yourself uh is tr do use the weekly challenge to practice with these items on other maps if you are starting out the game this is actually like a huge life hack for if you're a new player in phasmo if you uh are playing amateur mode you literally might as well just play the challenge mode and go to any map of your choosing you'll get the same payout as you would get for amateur mode however all items are provided to you for free which means you can do extra objectives it means you can um you don't risk anything and you can just try out you can die learn how to deal with hunts etc etc like it's such a ooh. it can't be gin because the gin wouldn't be able to use its ability if the breaker wasn't on so it's the ghost here the ghost is here i see okay so we found the ghost so yeah there's actually um like something you should really keep in mind all right so the ghost is here which is always important we're going to turn on some lights just in case it's going to be mayor or something there's going to be all kinds of fun stuff it depends on what ghosts we get here i don't know if there's a cursed possession uh because we have a mayor cursed possession okay that's actually very useful let's let's pop it up now okay so it is actually that ghost room for sure which is going to be important to rule out Gorio later. Uh, I don't know if there is going to be any roaming. Sometimes the devs turn off roaming, which would actually be really bad here for Gorio. Because then there's no way you can figure out a Gorio if the Yurei doesn't roam or something. But anyway, uh, let's just start off. What do you do when you first start a no evidence run? You take the basic stuff. The, the, the things that most people probably know, such as salt. Salt for Wraith is a really simple ability. Uh, if the ghost steps in the salt, you can rule out Wraith. Because what you're trying to do, you have this whole list of 24 ghosts ahead of you, right? And it can be really overwhelming to work your way through these. So start with the simple ones that you can rule out right away. And then pay attention to a lot of the things that are going to be happening that, are gonna, that I'm going to be talking about. But Wraith is a nice one to do right off the bat. bat. Mimic is a nice one to do immediately. Just look for orbs. If you don't see orbs, uh, make sure to check a few times because sometimes the ghost orbs will not show right away um just i don't know if they clip into walls or something it can just be a little tricky you can also take the paramic out there to start looking for the banshee scream or something like that um but i think what we're gonna do is just grab ourselves a crucifix right now because we're gonna be setting up for on rio as well which is nice to have in the room early uh, the unreal has an ability where if it blows out a candle three times in a row it should immediately hunt after that uh, sometimes it doesn't from my experience, so that's not 100% certain, but what is certain is that the Unreal will treat the candle like a crucifix. So if you get the crucifix to... Just turn off the light. Uh, if you get the crucifix to be used underneath a candle, there you go, it stepped in the salt. That means no wraith. So that's our first step. This is always a nice little first step, uh, on ruling out wraith. Uh, but as I was saying, if you get the crucifix to be used while a candle was lit on top of it, that means you're probably or definitely not need, dealing with an unreal let's look for orbies so this is the ghost room we know this because uh the the mirror showed us now it is still cold here and it's probably going to be cold for a while we're not seeing any orbs at all so i am going to it turned on the light dude we're getting a lot of fun evidence this is one of the things you have to be paying attention to during a no evidence run which it does the ghost ever turn on the light if it turns on a light ever instantly rule out mare mares cannot turn on lights uh, now 
they can turn off lights they can turn off the breaker they don't they aren't more likely to turn off breakers by the way literally the only way you can uh like um, rule out mayor without any like effort from your own is just turn it does it turn on a light boom you rule out a, a mayor immediately now we're also going to rule out mimic because we didn't see any orbies it is doing a ghost event as well and it was an airball ghost event now very important with what just happened because i see that a lot of people misunderstand it uh misunderstand that the sound that just happened um doesn't necessarily mean it's immediately not an oni the reason that was not an oni was because it's an airball how did i know it was an airball without seeing it because there were no footsteps there was no like boom boom ghost walking behind me then it touched me did that sound it was just completely quiet and then suddenly rah uh, which means it was just a floating airball thingy, uh, which they might change this down the line if they add any new ghost events at some point. So we're now at 60% sanity, which means that a few ghosts can start hunting here. And we're just going to let it hunt. We're going to grab ourselves a candle to... Uh, I think we don't really need anything else. Grab ourselves a candle and a, a smudge stick to rule out, hopefully, on Rio. Because the on Rio can start hunting at 65% sanity, actually, if there's no candles nearby. Which uh, can be kind of tricky. Onis cannot do an airball at all. No. They can do shadow as far as I know. They're less likely to do shadow. But they cannot do airball. It's stepping in the salt non-stop. It's also just staying in this room, which is normal. Alrighty, Ghost. Can you give us a sign? Can you show yourself? Can you do something? I don't have a photo cam, so I can't rule out Phantom here. That's already set up. So the reason, like, one of the many reasons I love no evidence so much is that it requires, like... Uh, quite a bit of planning like you really feel like you you're like the ghost whisperer like the ghost master um, It requires some for forethought some planning so you don't just like if you don't plan ahead uh, It's gonna be really hard later on to figure out the ghost So what we're doing now is setting up for the inevitable hunt that's gonna happen and I'm just throwing a bunch of items on the On the kitchen island right here because this is gonna be our looping spot which looping is one of the very useful skills that you'll be able to try out during this weekly challenge because you're not going to be ri risking anything. You're not going to be risking your hard-earned cash or whatever. Uh, it is really important to test for certain ghosts. For example, the poltergeist. The poltergeist will be throwing way more during a hunt than normal ghosts. So if we loop it around this and it just starts fucking throwing items around like absolutely crazy, we know it's a poltergeist. Uh, can you? It blew out the candle. That's blowout number one. So if it blows it out three times, it should hunt. Uh, can you give us a sign? Can you show yourself? Can you do something? I, I could also hold out my own candle. Oh, wait, wait a minute. The lighter has a limited amount of time that it can be used, right? So maybe I shouldn't be doing that. What's your name? Kyle White, right? Kyle, can you give us a sign? Can you show yourself? Can you do something? Can you give us a sign? How do people that live in Tanglewood leave their house with their car? Is the door... Can the garage door not open? I thought there was a garage door on Tanglewood, but... I've never really paid attention to that. So that was second blowout. We got a red light ghost event. Pretty damn sick. Was it here? Wait, was it standing right here? I didn't really see it. Okay, so that was kind of, that was blowout number two. We want one more blowout and then hopefully a hunt. No hunt, so very unlikely to be an on Rio. Like, almost impossible. We should be low sanity now because we just walked into another hunt or another ghost event which will drain your sanity. That's another important thing, by the way. Uh, ghosts will only drain your sanity when you touch the ghost event during a hunt. If you're just like, let's say the ghost is singing over there and it's just standing and then it goes away, that does not drop your sanity whatsoever. You have to physically touch it. And there's also some, it blows it out again. It just keeps blowing out the candle. There's also some abilities related to ghost events. Obviously the, it's not an Oni one is probably one of the most common at this point. Uh, but other ones are, if it is an Oni and it touches you, it'll actually drain your sanity by 20% rather than just a regular 10%. And if it's a Banshee and it does a singing ghost event, and it touches the target, which in this case, because I'm playing single player, is always going to be me. If it touches the target, instead of 10%, it'll drain your sanity by 15%. But there's some very important conditions on this. First of all, only if it touches the target. And second of all, only if it's a singing ghost event. So that one is way less reliable. And also, it's harder to see, right? A, a difference in 5%, like the difference between 10 and 15 is way harder to notice than the difference between 10 and 20. Like that's, that's way easier. Um, can you give us a sign? This ghost is definitely not 
hunting. It's definitely not very aggressive. It's not throwing a lot. Now, the problem with doing a weekly challenge, no evidence, is that we don't know the exact setting. So maybe they lowered the activity. Maybe they lowered the ghost event chance. So it's a little trickier than I would usually than it would usually be if you did like a regular nightmare mode, no evidence, which is what I usually go with with the nightmare mode settings because I'm used to that. Ran the ta ran the rat. Thank you for the ten dollar donation. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Halloween, everyone. Yeah, we're playing this. Uh, we're recording this video on Halloween, so if the video looks a little bit extra spooky to you, you know why. Uh, okay, so we're at sixty percent sanity right now. Very unlikely to be on Rio based on the candle blowout situation. Very unlikely to be demon because demons can start naturally hunting at seventy percent sanity. We've been in there for a while. Didn't hunt. Didn't use the crucifix. Probably not a demon. We've also been yelling at it quite a lot, and we haven't gotten any yokai hunt so we're like we're i'm not gonna rule it out because there's no like concrete none of some sometimes you're gonna rule something out and it's not necessarily 100 percent that you can rule it out but you kind of just want to like narrow down the list over time so that you don't get uh like you you're not staring at this list of 100 different or 24 different options and you can slowly narrow it down let's take a few more uh more of these and i guess we're just gonna pop up the mirror once or maybe we'll just let it I think we'll just turn off the lights in the ghost room and just let it hunt. Alistair, thank you for the $20 donation or 20 cur other currency donation as well. Thank you. All right, drop these in the corner here. We're going to pick those up during the hunt. We have a photo cam for the potential uh, phantom that might happen. Also, you move that mannequin, you sneaky boy. All right, turn off this light. So the way the sanity system works is that if you're standing in the light now on small maps, you will not drain any sanity whatsoever. Uh, so if you want to drop your sanity, you need to turn off the light so you can lose sanity. It's blowing out the candles a lot, but it's just like not hunting. I could take a photo of that because you can get a interaction photo off the candle now. I mean, I guess we could take a photo off of that. This... A little scary to be so far into the ghost room. Another candle blowout. Through that as well. Can you give us a sign? It's only like moderate amounts of activity. Now you can obviously play this in a different way, which maybe next round we'll play it in a different way. If you, there should be a photo over here in the corner, but sometimes it doesn't work for me. It worked. Um, what I was gonna say is that you can also play this in a different way where you start with the hunt Hope you get lucky and hope you get like a revenant or something. And if not, you figure out the ghost beyond that. Uh, you you do the other stuff after. Uh, but I like to start with just the the experience, like feel the behavior of the ghost, because this is like more closer to a normal. Uh, Jesus Christ, this ghost is doing all kinds of stuff now. Do a normal investigation. There we got an airball ghost event, which drops our sanity. So now we should definitely be in hunting range. And you give us a sign. EMF 4 It's probably gonna hunt very soon, and I really want to get it to uh, to use the crucifix underneath the candle. Come on! This is active weird. Maybe it isn't on real. <laughs> okay, we filled up the book with all uh, all photos, uh, so it doesn't matter anymore. Can you please hunt? You like any ghost except the? It might be a Dio here because Dios or Shades are are less likely to hunt they they start hunting the dio starts hunting at 40 percent sanity and the shade start hunting at 35 percent sanity so the fact that we haven't gotten any hunt for now um like i should be 45 at the very most right because i just got a ghost event and i sit in the shadow for a while unless i am unless i'm severely mistaken let me check you gotta make sure that you know kind of what your sanity is because that's going to be a really important type of evidence i'm exactly at 45 so yeah i don't know why it's not hunting i think this is probably gonna be a dio if i were to guess a dio or a shade but it's a little too active for a shade i would say personally uh trey i thank you for the donation as well thank you yeah it's uh because any ghost, like any ghost except Dio and Shade, would have already been able to hunt. So let's. What I'm gonna do now is I want to get a hunt, but I want to get a hunt in a play, in a way that I can deal with. So we're gonna move this crucifix. So we're not bothering with. I mean, I guess it could also be an on Rio, right? We're gonna have to do that check in a little bit. Um, I need to grab my lighter. I lost my lighter. If the ghost hunts now, it's gonna be a little fucked up. I dropped it right there. Okay. Uh, we need to. Oh, there we go. I used it anyway. Are you fucking kidding me? The annoying part about having the ghost use a 
crucifix is that it turns off all the lights and you want to have those lights on so you're uh, looping you need that's t tip number one for if you want to try and loop uh turn on the lights because without the lights it's so much harder than it has to be is it thank you for the five dollar donation as well thank you guys for all the super chats i appreciate it uh can you give us a sign hello hello you already hunted so we know that the ghost can hunt now oh here we go Um, just a regular ass ghost? It's not a poltergeist, that's for sure. It's nothing fast. It's definitely not a Dio because it even lost me there. Oh god. Uh, it's not a poltergeist because it's not throwing at all. It's not a, uh, it's not a, uh, phantom because it's blinking, like, quite normally. It's sped up there slightly. I'm gonna smudge the ghost now. Uh, just because the hunt was about to end. I smudged a 2025 here. So we're gonna test for spirit now. Very surprising. Let's check our, our sanity should be probably below 35 anyway. Let's see what we got here. So I'm gonna rule out a few ghosts here. We are actually at rule out shade range. So if you're above 35% sanity and you got hunted, you know it's not a shade. So that's really good. We know it's not a Dio. We know it's not a Raichu because it didn't get fast close to our equipment. We know it's not a Hantu because it's sped up over time. No Revenant because it wasn't fast or slow. Uh, no Phantom because it was blinking totally normal. Uh, no Thay because it was speeding up. Thays cannot speed up. Almost certainly no Obake because he never saw a shapeshift. Uh, Moroi is a little tricky here because Moroi's at this sanity range will sound just like any other ghost So that's gonna be not I can't really rule that out. No poltergeist because it wasn't throwing anything uh, Almost certainly not the twins uh, Myling, yokai and stuff like that, but we're gonna have to do a, a quick test one more test We'll grab a paramike here. Also grab just another one of this Moroi speed up in line of sight. Yes, they do that I think it was just normal sound. Okay, so it's been a little over a minute now since it hunted we're going to try and rule out spirit. How do you rule out spirit? Spirit can hunt after... Uh, oh, I have two lighters now. Can hunt after... Or every ghost can hunt after 90 seconds. After you smudge it again, uh, they can hunt again. Except the spirit. The spirit takes three minutes before it can hunt again. And the demon takes only 60 seconds. Um, so that is... Those are the important ranges you need to keep in mind. Uh, we should probably hold out the... Paramike, I guess. To start listening for a banshee scream and maybe get a um moroi curse to see if our sanity is going to be draining way more frequently spirit are you okay yeah the yokai test is I, I i have to do somewhere else yeah two minutes has passed now oh here we go oh huh why was this so slow there for a second Did you hear that Yeah, I wanted to walk away so I could do a yokai test. Can you fuck it? Can you go away? So it's not a spirit, by the way. Oh my god, this ghost is just absolutely camping. This kitchen island. Oh my god, dude. Alright, can I run away? I just want to lose it so we can do a yokai. Okay, we can't do a yokai test because this ghost is... Uh, too damn smart. It's staying on top of me. If it walks away and I turn on my flashlight and it immediately turns around coming for me, you know it's probably gonna be, uh, not a yokai. Alright, so it was indeed- it was not a spirit. No spirit. We need to do a gin test as well. If this is gonna start off with a Yure Agorio here, it's gonna be absolutely unbelievable. Because of the way that they've designed this difficulty, I don't think there is gonna be a single way. If you don't get a Yure ability, there's gonna be no way to distinguish between Yure and Gorio, because I'm pretty sure that they turned off roaming for this, which is actually bad for no evidence, funnily enough. Usually you don't want ghosts to roam, but for no evidence, it makes it harder. Uh, we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna just keep going. We have a lot more to do. So Unreal is very unlikely. Uh, we didn't smudge it there at all, but we're still gonna quickly place this in here and see if we get it to confirm that it's not an Unreal by lighting this. Oh, we don't have much. Come on, use the use the crucifix. I'm gonna hold on to my because it did act weird, right? It didn't hunt for. There you go. So it used the crucifix underneath both my lighter as well as the the candle, which means no on Rio. So we have in fact ruled that out correctly, but always good to confirm for the ghosts that have like certain confer confirmations like that. Okay, you are doing all kinds of shit right now. I know, I would just want to turn on this, all these lights here. 
You can't hunt during a ghost event like this, by the way. It will start its hunt afterwards. Unless you use, like, the cursed possession, obviously. Uh, okay, I'm gonna turn off my... It might use the crucifixes on, the, on this table right now. So, okay, what's gonna be our next step? Next step here probably is gonna be yokai test. We can still do that during a hunt. I don't think it's a miling. don't think it's a moro. I don't think it's the twins. Uh, Jin is also gonna be an easy test here. I just really want you to hunt. It, has it... Is it just me? Or ha is it harder now to hear... Uh, where the ghost is coming from at the start of a hunt. Like, I've... You hear that? It, there's no, like, sounds at the beginning. I guess this is also a really quiet ghost sound, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna run away here. Did it see me? Let's see if we can bait it over here. Hello, hello! There's definitely not a miling, because we can hear it just clearly. Hello, hello! Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello? It walked to me there at the end, but that was kind of weird. Uh, we're gonna have to test that again. I don't think it's a yokai, but you always gotta have to- You always should confirm that. I really want to do a gin test, too. Uh, right here. Let's hold our- Hopefully it's not gonna hunt on top of me here. That would be really bad. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna- Do I have a crucifix here? I thought I had a crucifix on this- I guess I didn't. Oh, there. Take this and place it over here. This will prevent the ghost from hunting in this small area, which keeps me safe if the host were or the ghost were to start hunting on top of me, because it can't. Because then the crucifix will be used. So we're gonna we get a whisper. So the banshee, every time it does a whisper, there's a 30% chance it does a special scream, which we will be able to figure out. Now the fact that it came to us here uh, previously might indicate that we are dealing with a banshee. Because the Banshee will, uh, has an ability to roam to the target's location, which in this case would obviously be me. I, I like the actually. this is such a, such a useful first hunt, or first run. I remember last time we did this weekly challenge, I just got like three hunting ghosts in a row. That's the second time that we've had the ghost, uh, be, Jesus Christ, be here. Uh, so it might actually be a Banshee, but we did get two Whispers in a row. This is all kind of suspicious. I'm gonna grab a motion sensor here. We haven't gotten as many singing ghost events, have we? I'm gonna grab a motion sensor just to see if it actually walks to me. Yeah, I'm sorry, that was loud as hell. This is why you place the crucifix, by the way. In case you're dealing with like a... Place it like that. Dude, what the fuck? Kind of very strange right now. Can you give us a sign? We're at zero sanity now, yes. It's used the crucifix, wow. Fucking mega annoying, are you kidding me? I kinda wanna use the sanity pills to to see if the mirror, if the ghost room has changed with the mirror. You know what, let's literally do that. We're not gonna have to get our sanity up anymore anyway, cause like the remaining ghosts here we can rule out with the hunt we've done a lot of stuff outside of the hunt already so we're gonna take i don't know how much these are gonna give you so i'm gonna wait a little bit here because i don't know the settings maybe they're gonna give us fucking 100 percent sanity and then i'm gonna be screwed if i take well, i guess it doesn't matter if i take all of them then but okay so 20 percent at least i think it takes 20 seconds for these to give sanity okay so they give at least 25 probably 30 or 40 if it's normal do we have a grace period Dude, it's so much sanity for one sanity. Okay, 30%. 30% sanity, which means we can pull up the mirror just for one second. I give 25. Why did I get from 0 to 30 then? Alright, whatever. Um, You cannot use the board to see EMF5, no. Okay, quick mirror peek. So it is still the exact same room, which is extremely suspicious for, for Banshee here. Like... <laughs> But we have gotten three whispers, so I don't really know what's going on here. This is a very fun ghost. Uh, this is like... Because I, I think the difference... Oh, it's nothing. Okay, so it's not a gin. Because it didn't speed up there at all. Try and get it to walk away. Oh, and immediately turned around. Did you see that? That's how you rule out yokai. That's how you rule out yokai. It is, as soon as I turned on my flashlight, turned around, was like, uh, it saw me. So no yokai. 
almost certainly not a moro right because we had zero sanity hunts and it didn't sound any faster um so that's good Oh, definitely not the twins, right? Because it's not faster or slower. So we're down to the classic three. This is, if you are familiar with the with the way no evidence runs work, you're familiar with this, uh, this trio right here. These are the three ghosts that require the most amount of RNG to figure them out. So they'll, if you are like doing a regular no evidence run, this is usually what you'll end up with if you get unlucky and it's not any of the other ghosts. Uh, so in this case, how do we, how do we go from here? Uh, we need to get more whispers for the banshee i guess i should do a quick oh fuck i wanted to do a quick smudge but it's now staying in that room i feel like it's probably a gorio just purely based on the fact that it hasn't done a single ura ability which the ura abilities have been way more common for me um but if you've managed to narrow it down to these three you can make a very educated guess but like it requires an infinite hor hor horizon of time uh for you to actually like rule it out from here because banshees could literally never decide to scream yurei could literally never decide to use its ability so it's kind of out of your control at this point uh so don't feel bad if you get it wrong after this point don't feel discouraged about your no evidence skills uh jane though thank you for the five dollar donation and snippy, snippy bibbus thank you for the donation as well thank you guys um okay so we're gonna smudge real quick just to get the ghost to stop hunting for a second here. I thought it was hunting there. So we can get one more scream. The rule that I have, like, devised for myself is that if I get four whispers, I rule out Banshee. This is just a completely... Oh, my God. It never stops on the motion sensor, though, is weird, is weird, weirdly enough. Um, it's just, like, an arbitrary rule that I have because, like, you gotta, you gotta have a cutoff point somewhere, right? Because you can stay here forever, never get a scream, and then it could still end up being a banshee anyway. Uh, so you just gotta... You gotta decide what's good for you. You can stick for five or six whispers if you want. Like, the more whispers you stick around for, the higher of a chance that you get a banshee. But we just got four whispers in a row, and uh, none of them were screams, so I'm gonna rule out banshee. I'm gonna rule out Yurei because we didn't get a single Yurei ability uh during during this entire hunt but it could easily be a yure that just didn't use its ability because i'm pretty sure that the ghosts don't roam on this setting but i i guess i just haven't seen it so we're gonna go with gorio which is genuinely if it ends up being a gorio this is the hardest ghost during a no evidence run we didn't have any different ghost type at all so if this ends up being a mimic i'm gonna lose my mind I, and i also checked for orbs which i didn't see uh we did all objectives we didn't get the bone though was that uh, it was indeed a Goryeo. So there you go. I That is the perfect ghost for you guys if you're watching this video because it meant I had to go through literally every single other ghost to get to this conclusion. So if you get a Goryeo correct on no evidence without guessing, you're an absolute madman because it takes like, genuinely 26 uh, minutes of just pure brain power to get there. But anyway, we got to do three runs. So that was literally just the first. Let's do this one upside down. So uh, that one we did completely normal where you start by just treating it as a normal combat contract you put your items in the room you slowly wait until you get into hunting range and then you start doing hunt checks let's turn it upside down and we're gonna start by uh well first we should turn on the breaker and then we're gonna just immediately trigger a hunt with whatever cursed possession we have which might be another mimic um or a mirror i should say it is another mirror i'm gonna turn on these lights if you get lucky this way like if you wanna uh like speed run this or cheese it semi cheese it you could literally just reset over and over again on the weekly challenge and, and like get a hunt every time initially. And if you get like a revenant or something obvious, you fill it in and otherwise you leave. Like, but I I want to give you the knowledge that uh, that you need to actually you like to actually be a god gamer and figure out every single ghost, not just the easy ones that everyone knows. Um, because we like to do things seriously out here without taking the easy way out. Okay, so this is that room. It is that room. Okay, so it's gonna come from there. It's gonna hunt now, probably. Uh, Jane, though, thank you for the subscription. Thank you. Turn this on. All right, ghost. Uh, what's my sanity? I guess I should quickly check, just so we know. Uh, I used it. I pulled it up three times or four times even, so I should be at like twenty. I am indeed at 20. Every time you pull up the mirror, it costs you 20% sanity. So I pulled it up four times, which uh, put me at 20% sanity. So now any ghost, including 
a uh, shade kind of hunt. You could pull it up three times to be right at 40, so that you could potentially rule out a, um, a shade right away. But we get hunted now. I think it's twins. Or Hantu or something. It's beating up, right? So it's, uh, it's, it's a twin? It sounded very slow. I'm gonna smudge and just hide here and hope- Well, I guess I'll run upstairs. I think so. But we're gonna have to do another hunt. Just- Like, I'm just gonna trigger another hunt with the mirror immediately. Just to- That's what I like to do when I- When I have a feeling it's a, the twins, you can usually leave, but... Both doing two hunts can make it extremely obvious it's the twins. And it can also help you, uh, to potentially get a mimic instead. Because if you get, like, a Dio on your first hunt, you might just be dealing with a Mimic instead that decided to be a Dio, so getting two hunts in a row is the way to go around that, or looking for orbs, I guess, if you want to do that, which is also obviously safe. Now, is it hunting? I think it stopped. I think I've just been sitting. Yeah, I think I've just been sitting there for no reason. Uh, so we're going to turn on some lights and get the frick out of here. Leave this here. Grab ourselves another smudge. So we did smudge the ghost, which means it's not going to be hunting right now. So that's where we're going to trigger the hunt using the cursed possession. So I, I didn't really talk about this much. The twins, they have so many different ways you can figure them out. Um, there is twin interaction like things on the board, uh, which is where you get a an event. That was probably one, actually. I'm not sure. I think so. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Uh, it just because you can't see it because it's the same slope. Um, but basically, if you see uh, an, a thing go up, a line go up, and then it tra changes slope somewhere halfway through, you know uh, that it's most that it at least did something so close together, which is either mean it has a, it is a ghost with a ghost ability, or it is a really active ghost, or alternatively. It is the twins because the twins has a special ability where it forces two interactions to happen right after one another which will result in that exact same thing but don't use that as gospel because it can happen naturally for other ghosts as well now the thing that i just used to potentially get to the twin conclusion is that the twins are uh sometimes slower and sometimes faster than normal ghosts and it really sounded like they were slower but maybe we're just talking about something that is not even relevant to this game maybe they aren't the twins so let's just oh turn off the brick that's very annoying uh just do another round here i'm gonna turn on these lights i think it could just naturally hunt right now but i won't even have to use the the mirror and then i can just do three hunts in a row. Now, this is a 50% chance. 50% that it'll be slow, 50% that it'll be fast, which means that if you get unlucky, you'll get the exact same type of speed over and over again in a row, which can make it hard to figure it out. Listen to that way faster. Oh, what? Excuse me? What the fuck is that hunt, dude? It hunted from there, and then it hunted from upstairs. That is such a twin thing as well. So you can hear how it's significantly faster now. Doom, 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 doom. And before I was like, boom, 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 boom. So the best way to rule out twins for me is getting the two things to happen one after another. Yes, if you put a gun to my head, I could figure it out with just one hunt. But as like a rule of thumb, or at least if you're starting out to identify the twins, just getting two hunts back to back and you get the two different speeds makes it immensely obvious that you're dealing with the twins because uh, of the difference between the sounds. Because, uh, uh, like, it's a 5% change. It's either 5% faster than a normal ghost or 5% slower, which can be hard to distinguish, but a 10% difference between either 95% speed or 105% speed is way more obvious to tell. So yeah. Um, anyway, there we go. It was the twins. And the other thing that happened there, which that I love the twins so much because it has so many little abilities going on, um, was that it was in that room downstairs, right? But instead it hunted upstairs because the twin can hunt from a far away point by, by using its like... Uh, like the twin can hunt in a really large range around where the ghost is. 
which is called a decoy hunt, but don't get it twisted. There's not actually a decoy walking around. We used to think, because this was how it was described to us by the developers, but it was just, they were just using it as a shorthand. This is not actually how it works in the game. Uh, we used to think that there were literally two ghosts walking around. That's not how it works. There's two ghosts on top of one, basically. One has a small range of interaction, and the other ghost, which is still the same ghost, has a huge range. So um that's that's the way it works it's like basically as if they're on each other's shoulder <laughs> like they're just stacked up like uh like two uh two monsters in a trench coat basically uh anyway we got uh two abilities so two two interactions or maybe uh a decoy hunt as well i don't know if that counts uh but that was a good one that is that is a good example of we go to grafton uh a good example of how the upside down strategy for uh, doing the doing a no evidence run can really quickly help you out because yes, we could have figured that out uh, by doing a, a slow investigation like we did the first time But I'm gonna do another one like that because we already we already did a full investigation where we went through every single one of the ghosts in the first round So I'm just gonna show you how to deal with this upside down stuff uh, Burn world. Thank you for the or burn. Yeah burn world. Thank you for the two dollar donation. Thank you Okay, uh, so we're gonna just have... I, I like that they gave us the mirror. That's a very nice thing to do as the developers because it allows you to find the ghost room, which makes me think that probably the ghosts can roam in the settings, but I don't know. We didn't see it, but we were also dealing with a Gorio, so that explains. Gorios cannot roam unless you use the monkey paw and wish for sanity. Then it will always roam because that's forced by the monkey paw. We're gonna pull it up four times here. Uh, one, two... Three, four. So we're at 20 now, and it's also in the living room, which is a little spooky. I'm gonna turn this on and then run away. And then test for Jin, I guess. So we should just first listen to the ghost. Allow 20% sanity and still not hunting. Kinda sussy. I mean, if I pull up the mirror now, it just breaks, so. Like, you don't want to break the mirror because it lengthens the hunts by a lot. And it also means you can't use the Cursed Possession anymore, right? So just using the, the Cursed Possession to control your sanity and then letting the ghost naturally hunt is also going to tell you about its aggression levels, which this ghost is not aggressive at all. So it seems very unlikely for this to be a demon right now. Could still be a demon that's just really shy. Uh, it could be... Oh, there we go. Smiling? No. Oh, fuck! It's super. Is it revenant? Hello? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Why did it get so stuck on the table? Did you see that? It got mega omega oh, stuck on the table. I'm gonna just. Wait, did it just stop the hunt? What the fuck? Okay, so that's a revenant for you right there, which is the other... Like, there's so many ghosts you can figure out fast during a hunt, uh, which is, like, the a really, really quick strategy. But make sure that you actually are proficient enough to do an actual no evidence as well. So, yeah, there you go. Could obviously be a mimic. We could get mimic trolled here. Um, but I'm really glad we started this off with a Gorio, so I got to show you everything. Because I remember last time I was really disappointed with the weekly challenge, or with what happened during my weekly challenge when I did this, is because I got like three fast hunting ghosts, or three really obvious ghosts in a row. Like the first one was a Wraith or something, and then Moroi and Dio or something, so I, I didn't get to show off any of the cool stuff. But yeah, there you go, that's how you earn 5,000. Obviously those second two runs were way faster than the first one, but the first one was way more satisfying and actually allowed you to show all your skill, and you fucking figured out a Gorio using no evidence, you maniac. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching over on YouTube. Uh, let me know if you're going to do this challenge. Let me know how it went for you. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, just like it. And if you want to join the lovely games here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash Instagram. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. All righty. Let's go. So that was uh, step number one. We did the weekly challenge. Very, very nice. Uh, didn't I, th I thought after that first one that it was going to take fucking forever, but luckily the next two runs went way faster. Okay. So now what I want to do is do a Maple Lodge campsite. Just do a bunch of Maple Lodge campsite runs. Just regular, I think, professional even. Because getting evidence on Maple Lodge is going to be fucking annoying. Uh, and I just want to have... I want to have fun here. So we're going to grab all the items, add them in. 
we almost have all the tier three i think all we're missing is the crucifix we even have the salt but i don't like the salt uh we literally are only missing the crucifix we have the better munch sticks which we should probably i guess we'll keep the the tier three incense here but anyway we're gonna go say hi youtube have a great time here we go <clears throat> Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today, we're gonna discover all of the secrets of the new Maple Lodge campsite. I've only visited this map like three times until now, and I wanna dive deep into this map because I know there's a lot of little things. Obviously, there's Easter eggs that used to be there that I will also be showing you. There's the whole Halloween event going on, and there's a lot of other stuff that we've already seen, which are really cool details that I wanted to show you. So I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go <laughs> all right here we go we got everything set up let's do it <clears throat> hey, hey youtube chat by the way hope you guys are having a great time um guys uh, happy halloween to everyone all right uh we got sharn jackson look at the beautiful map so the difference between the old maple lodge and the new maple lodge is night and day they mostly did this for performance reason but i think they did a really great job and based on the feedback from you guys let me know in the comments down below do you like this version more or the old version i vast majority of people basically every single message that i've seen has said i love the new version i think it's way better than the old one which i think i do have to agree uh just the I don't, it's like so much easier and so much uh it feels much more like a phasmo map than the previous one the previous one was just so weird and open which made it extremely hard it felt more like a campsite though like this one is more blocked off like it can still be it depends on where you're from different campsites look different for the, for parts of the world uh we're playing unprofessional right now because it's a media map and getting evidence is going to be a bit so first of all we should quickly turn on the breaker i know there's one breaker over there uh, but it's not there. Give me one second. Where's the breaker? We need to quickly turn that on so we can actually properly see and I can start exploring everything. Moonlight, thank you for the donation. Happy Halloween to you too. Uh, what do we got? The breaker is right at the beginning to the right. Okay. Reception is really cool, yeah. More like a summer camp? That's pretty solid, I think. There's the breaker. Okay, so we're turning on the breaker. We're starting at the very beginning here. I don't want to start on... Make it too confusing. Where's the light switch? I need to learn where all the light switches are. There. This is just the entrance area, which I don't know if you can get a ghost here based on the amount of items I'm seeing here. Probably. You can get fingerprints on these cool boxes as well, by the way. Uh, as well as on the light switch here and this light switch, obviously. And this right here, they got these things all over the map. These, like... Uh, things the screens that are set up these are hiding spots that you can hide in uh which it's way more you have way more of these than there used to be on old may or on old maple lodge however with a hiding spot like this you have to keep in mind that if the ghost sees you going into it they will probably still kill you so this is not the best hiding spot because like if the ghost is anywhere in this square here, it'll probably kill you. But yeah, this is the reception building. We're going to start with the reception building just because I love it. And because I'm going to be making a video specifically about this, detailing all the things we know about it. Uh, but I wanted to already tease it a little bit. Look at this right here. Maple Ho or Point Hope Lighthouse. This is uh, very likely, I'm like 99% sure, confirmation that we are in fact getting a lighthouse map added to the game hopefully in the near future because we have several different things pointing at this also we have a freaking ghost over here unless this cup is just laying on the floor like this uh i'm not sure if that's the case there's also the halloween event obviously going on here which in order to do that you have to collect the recipes uh from all of the other or from all the maps with a pumpkin sticker and then you have to combine them all which we will be doing in this round as well you have to combine them all in the cauldron over there to create the potion and get yourself the new halloween trophy which requires a bunch of items such as i, I we are obviously going to be spoiling the recipe here because we're going to be showing you all the secrets if you clicked on a video named uh this or exploring all the secrets of maple lodge and you expected me to do it without spoilers i don't know what the fuck you were doing uh so yeah i'm obviously going to be spoiling everything but i want to start over here because this was a really cool detail uh there's a, there's like a storyline going on on this map uh that i really like there is bears and the bears are uh causing a ruckus so much so that they've added bear traps look at this one you can click on this 
and you can uh, set and launch the, the bear trap. And I'm assuming, because it is an interaction like this, that means that the ghost will also be able to touch this and make it close if you have a ghost in this ghost area. And you might even be able to get fingerprints on this. I don't know, that would be kind of stupid though, the ghost putting its hand in there. So yeah, that's a really cool interaction, uh, I thought. There is all kinds of breaker spots around the map. That is one of them. You have these usual hiding spots here. This is another hiding spot. There's also quite a lot of safe spots on the map right now, which is usual uh, because it's a new map and the developers uh, missed uh, a lot of those. Now, there's so many hiding spots. It's crazy how many little nooks and crannies you have The hide behind. Like, that's another hiding spot. It is so much. It's so packed with hiding spots literally everywhere. There's also these signs, right? Obviously, there's Halloween decorations as well. Uh, there's also these, like, bear signs that are, like, there's there's bears around. Be careful. This, again, you can click these and just set them, which I thought was a really cool detail. So, yeah, this is the little storage area right here. That is, like, one of the secrets uh, I wanted to show you. You have the toilets and campsite A. There's several different campsites, which there's other things on this map as well, by the way, but I don't know much about that. Apparently, the Red Main River and Mount Conyer is actual, are actual places somewhere, uh, people said in the comments, but I'm not entirely sure. I've just, I'm not familiar with uh, probably US uh, geography. We're gonna go here now, go to the campsite. We're gonna be playing a ton of games, by the way. And obviously we're gonna, this first one is just like showing you a little tour of Maple Lodge and then the next games are gonna be regular games. So if you wanna just see that, you can skip to that. This is the cauldron where you can buy the potion. If you throw something in there that's not part of the recipe, it will, uh, it will fail. So you, you have to make sure that you don't put anything wrong in there. Look at this, bears in the area. There's like this story going on of bears attacking you. I don't know if there's any interactions with like, if there's a bear scream or something. Now, another thing you might be uh, wondering because it was in the old Maple Lodge, is there a Slender Man? And oh boy, yes, there is. There is a Slender Man secret. I don't know if we have it right now. Uh, he can spawn over there. He can spawn at the end of this uh, street right here. He can spawn over at the camp uh, or the campsite campfire here, which is now the cauldron right there back actually really close to the uh, to the fence here, which is kind of funny. This is like a similar campfire area that we used to have uh, those hiding spots, which, by the way, another thing I should note is that they have finally fixed the flying glitch where you could use these. Uh... Oh, never mind. <laughs> False, false alarm. <laughs> they have not, in fact, fixed it. Okay, I just have to get a little better at it. So you can still fly, but it's, it seems to be a little harder, at least. Because you can't stand up anymore. Like, it, it's way more finicky now, because you can't... Yeah, you have to, like, be outside of it for it to work. So yeah, I don't know. But anyway, that, that, that's gonna get you banned if you use that in multiplayer, by the way. I just, I'm just i showing you all the fucking secrets. Uh, is there a Blair Witch Trophy? Because there's a there was a Blair Witch effigy little Easter egg that was right around here on the old old map. It might be somewhere else in the map now. I don't know. We're gonna make our way through here. Uh, tour everyone. Keep their hand and or arms and legs within the cart at all times. It's I hear shower here. So apparently that cup is supposed to be on the ground and this is where the ghost is. This, by the way, if you're looking for the bear eyes, I know I was for a while. These are the bear eyes. So you need them for the recipe and they're really hard to find. They're right here. I'm going to show you all the recipe locations when we compile the potion in a second. So yeah, we found the ghost here. This is the board location, which that's another thing. Um, you need to relearn the cursed possession spawn points now. Look how many blocks, li line of sights blockers there are, man. Like, even in a little hallway like this, there is this. So if you crouch down and you crouch behind this, you're going to break line of sight with the ghost. Like, there's, it's so much better now uh, for survival. Like, if you want to get away from the ghost, it's way, way easier. Yeah, we're going to leave this here. Oh, it's touching something on the other side. So maybe that's actually the ghost room. Let's see if there is a, um, maybe it's in here. It can sometimes, it can be in the middle as well. You can't, if you get freezing breath here, this is also considered a separate room. Uh, we could ask the board, but we're dropping our sanity already, so I don't want to just randomly die. Let's see, do we have any breath? It can take a while for the breath to show up. Let me just drop these items here, uh, get that thermo down, and we're going to continue our, our quick tour here. Just uh, take, take it all in to get familiar with this beautiful new map. This is a little side area, which also has a 
Light switch, by the way. Everything is is brightly lit now. I'm assuming there's a slender spawn back here somewhere as well. I'm not seeing any slendy, though. We're gonna be playing a ton of games, so we will definitely see slender somewhere down the line. This is the most open area in the game. So this is probably the most dangerous zone to have the ghost. Because if you have like a tent ghost here, which every single one of these tents is, is a separate ghost room, uh, you can check with the sound sensor, place the sound sensor down to see what is what room if you want to really like min max everything. Like this might be a separate room, for example. So yeah, running away here might speed, like look how large of a line of sight you have. So this kind of gives that, I'm really happy that an area like this exists because this was what I really enjoyed about the old version is that it had these like open outdoorsy area. Like if you make it so claustrophobic, it doesn't feel like an outdoors area, but they really nailed it. I think they did an incredible job uh, and I'm very happy with with the, with the new Maple Lodge. Now, obviously it couldn't be Maple Lodge, which by the way, this is uh, another shortcut. There's many different ways to go around this map, which can make it feel a little overwhelming at once. You can go into the reception here, which doesn't lock by the way, or anything. It doesn't lock during a hunt. The cabin doesn't lock. None of the sunny, sunny meadows uh, bullshit mechanics on this map. So you can just run through the reception if you want. Uh, you have this beautiful totem pole uh, and the just like middle street area, central street that was in the in the previous version as well. You also have the holy the holy branch right here, which is a branch you can only see from one side, and it is super bright for some reason. It glows in the dark. We don't, that's probably going to get changed, but right now it's the holy branch. I'm just quickly checking if there's any... I think they may have forgotten about the Blair Witch Easter egg. I might have to nudge CJ and make them put it back, unless they got, like, literally copyright infringement notice from like the Blair Witch uh, project or something I don't know uh, but there used to be this effigy on one of these poles that was like a little easter egg of the uh, or pointing at the Blair Witch uh, movie but that's no longer there as far as I can see uh, there's still a lot basically every other easter egg still exists this is the storage area again by the way it just loops back it all loops wonderfully in on each other there's like three different paths there's the left path the path through the reception and then the path through the storage which makes this map feel way smaller than it used to because previously getting to the cabin it's still far it's still a far away walk to get to the cabin but it's not as uh far as it used to be i'm quickly going to turn on the breaker one sec because the fucking ghost turned it off <clears throat> it, feel, it feels small, but it is, like, it feels just night or tightly packed, basically. Turn that back on. The Halloween Axel. Hope you feel better soon. How many subs did I have three years ago? 2,000. <laughs> uh, time flies. Life happens. Okay, so I don't think you can open the toilet. Someone asked, can you open the toilet at all? There's these toilets in the storage area. We just turned on the breaker. I don't think you can. Oh, oh, never mind. You can. Wait, what? That is fucking disgusting. Why was this locked before? Oh my god, that is absolutely nasty. <laughs> that is so wait, why was it locked before then? Does it just randomly lock? Oh, it's a hiding spot. Wait, wow, that's sick. It's. I don't want to hide here though. This is fucking stinky, but. Um, so when I first played this, or when I first played this map, this was locked. So I don't know why I may- Oh, it's locked because when you have- It's a literal hiding spot. So if, if the hiding spot gets locked, it gets locked. Okay. So like similar to how if you have like a hiding spot like this, it gets blocked up with items if it's not there. Like the hiding spot is hidden. Uh, this door will get locked if the hiding spot is hidden. So yeah, another hiding spot right here. Very disgusting. Wonderfully done uh <laughs> wonderfully done artist crew i uh i never want to see it again is there poo poo in there can we open the toilet <laughs> i don't think so is there just a big oh oh no that was this i, I thought it was squishy in there no i don't think so uh, anyway i'm gonna run the fuck away from there that is stinky can you take the toilet paper yeah the toilet paper is just an item look at this another fucking hiding spot they re i feel like they almost overdid it I feel like they almost made this map too easy now. There is so many hiding spots that you can take. Like, obviously, a lot of these are open, so they're not going to be the best hiding spot that you could take. But also just so much way to block line of sight, which is really, really helpful. Like, you could loop here or something. Look, by the way, 
We got a card game going on, which I don't think you can pick these up, sadly. So it's not like the ghost is going to be throwing the cards around or flipping the table or something. There is a cool looking... Look at that. It's hard to see, but there's actually a custom made Joker card, I think, or Phasmo. Look at that. Are they going to be selling this as merch? That would be sick. If they do that. I don't know if they're gonna. They seem to be kind of against merch for some reason. They, they haven't done much. I think they've only ever done the voodoo doll. One sec. They've only ever done this one. Look. The little voodoo guy. This was the only official merch I think they sell. Uh, which I don't think they sell it anymore, but I got one. Really cool. Very cute. Took forever to get here. Took like literally a year or something <laughs> before it arrived, but... Which was kind of shitty because, like, it... it the, the sale got closed and, like, the stuff got delivered several, like, half a year after the sale closed. So everyone who wanted one after that couldn't get one. Now, this is another reference to Point, Point Hope. Look at that lighthouse right there. You can physically see it on the map. And then it's also there, which is really, really cool. So right there, we got the lighthouse. And we, of course, still have the Jason mask, which was one of the most well-known. I remember when Maple Lodge first came out, I had like fucking so many people constantly tell me, dude, you know about the Jason mask? You know about the Jason mask? Do you know about the Jason mask? Still there. You, you, can, you can rest assured. Uh, we have these two uh, lovely, lovely skellies that are having a date and they got the the lovers lovers rose that i'm going to be taking with me look at this this is what this is really cool they got these bear traps set up over here you see that so they i don't know how the bears get around this like this is a freaking full-on log wall but sure and of course larry is still there as well you can see him right there he's a little further away now but there's a dead body underneath the cabin right there larry we've come to call him i don't think his name is officially larry uh, and then obviously my one of my did you turn off the breaker oh you're hunting right now oh that's unfortunate <laughs> uh obviously the cat oh come on wait oh yeah that's a bug that's a bug <laughs> um if you get or if you if there's a hunt happening you cannot unlock the cabin for some reason you can open it if you've already previously unlocked it but if there's a hunt happening, you cannot physically unlock the cabin. And it's really important to know because I've died that way by running to the cabin, picking up the key, not being able to open the door and being like, what the fuck? And then just fucking dying on the porch here. So yeah, keep that in mind that you cannot... Uh, oh, this ghost is being annoying. It's turning off the breaker that you cannot do that. Uh, this, uh, the cabin is ab exactly the same as far as I know. Uh, there's a few new items such as this umbrella. Now there's also still, as far as I know, I don't know why they would get rid of it. Still the ring Easter egg where, uh, how does it work? Like the phone rings and then, or the TV turns on and then the phone rings and then like seven days or, well, it doesn't say seven days, but that's like the, it's the reference. Uh, it's a reference to the, to the phone call and the ring movie. Which I think is one of CJ's favorite horror movies, he's told me. And, oh, they actually changed this! Look at that! They moved around the bed. The bed used to be on this side, now it's on that side. Got a phone here. Got the alarm clock. A very small difference. I don't know, or I don't know why they even bothered to do that. And then the bathroom over here is probably still identical. Yeah, definitely still identical. You can be on the on the beautiful little balcony right here, which I love. So yeah, that's a that's a quick was actually a very uh, very thorough tour of Maple Lodge. So the Blair Easter egg is, is no longer there, as far as we can see. If you know, if, if it's like hidden somewhere, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Now, obviously, I'm taking these ingredients because these are going to be required for the soup that we're going to be making now. I'm probably going to be taking my sanity pills because I want to do a regular investigation here. It's so cool, cool <laughs> that you can hide in there. That's amazing. I'm gonna turn on the breaker again and run the hell out of here. This seems extremely dangerous. I don't know if there's special, like, special ghost events that do, like, fire on the oil there or something. Because it seems, like, deliberately placed like that. To have, like, oil spills. It seems very fucking dangerous with this much wood close together. We have gotten a bunch of, several hunts already at this sanity. It might be an early hunting ghost, but it's definitely not a Dio. And it's definitely not a Shade, because these cannot hunt at this sanity. Um... 
We're gonna take this build, take this build, and I'm quickly gonna run around the map, compile the rest of, or uh, let me quickly show you all the locations uh, with of the recipe. Those two we've already found, right? Uh, the one was in the cabin, the other one was on the pier. You need three apples, three rotten apples right here. Uh, so we're gonna grab two right now, but you can grab a three later. Uh, I'll just quickly drop it here. You need this little guy right here from the, uh, from the reception, and you need to brain in the jar as well. I'll just throw it in here. And then the other, so that is one, two, three, four, five. There is three bean bags that you need, which are literally right over here. Just three bean bags, which is six. I think there is how many ingredients total? So the bean bags, you need three of those. You have the two eyes I already showed you previously here. These two eyes. And then I think the last... Wait. It threw the eye. What the fuck? Oh, it threw the eye over here. You have the two eyes. And then I think the last one is the... Yeah, we already got the teeth. The last one is the screaming skull, which is over there. Pick that up. Flashlight as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. What the fuck is the shadow? Dude, that is a hard shadow on that tree. Holy fuck. Jesus. It's been throwing stuff around here because it's been walking around. This one right here. The screaming skull in the hallway in the middle. You can pick that up. And the last one, actually. Not, not the skull is not the last one. The last one is your flashlight. You need to sacrifice your flashlight in order to... Uh, it's the last ingredient so make sure that if you're doing this you either have the tier 3 head cam or you bring an additional uh flashlight so you're not going to be in the dark for the rest of the investigation so let me just quickly throw all the items over here and then we're gonna do the recipe gonna stack those up where the fuck did the other eyeball go there it is it's just rolling you need to be careful that they don't roll away you got all these two three of that do I have another flashlight? I think I do have an extra flashlight, I hope. Let me quickly check. I do have another one, luckily. <laughs> Should put on the head cam. Blood moon incoming, baby. Grabbing all the items real quick. Turn on the lights for sanity. This light broken. Or this, uh, I don't think the sanity gets prevented much here. It's like the 80% thing, right? These two, and then we have the brain, and then one more rotten apple, and then we're good. That's a flashlight. I mean, we need the flashlight. Ah, dude, it's fucking annoying how some items have no friction. <laughs> God damn. Let him cook, indeed. Will the cauldron stay? Probably not. I don't see why. Making me, making you sacrifice your flashlight is rude. Boom. 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 And then I'm gonna grab another flashlight. I think that's it. That's all we need. They're slimy for being rotten. I feel like rotten apples wouldn't roll that frictionless. <laughs> they were real. I don't think you can take a photo of it at all, so there's no reason to do that. Not the frog, I'm sorry. The flower we already got. What's my Halloween costume? Orange. <laughs> That's as close as you're gonna get. We don't really do Halloween here. There it is. All of the recipe ingredients. So let's start off with the screaming skull. You're going. And now make sure not to throw in something that doesn't need to be... Or that's not a part of the recipe because it will immediately cancel it. And you're gonna have to leave and come back to... Uh, do it again throw in three not more than three some of these need different qual quantities three of the bean bags one uh up or a bowl of teeth we have a rose the lover's blossom you can see that one actually right here the love's blossom we have the uh brain which is from sunny meadows the brain we got the the plushie which 
they i don't know if they're gonna start selling that as merch they have they should, really should do more merch i would love to buy some official merch we have the two bear eyes right here boom boom we have three rotten apples from the storage area and then the final ingredients <laughs> is gonna be the flashlight look at that <laughs> it's so cool and then you get this insane interaction to happen the the ghosts fly out of the cauldron the whoa did you see that they actually have like a physical light change whoa the the the, the like moon actually rotated as if it was like the the earth rotating i thought it was just gonna like fade to the new weather but no and then the blood moon happens with the skull in the floating in the sky that was really cool so yeah if you have sunrise weather it's a swat or it changes the time like naturally like that that's super cool okay well so that was every little secret now let's actually play a few regular games starting with this one right here to see how difficult the new sunny meadows or the new maple lodge actually is i think it's gonna be uh let's see if it's gonna go down here not going down. I'm assuming it's in this room then, because it's like not cold at all in the other room. It is indeed here. Okay, so we're going to leave this here, grab this here. Quickly, just grab all the items. Razor Blade, thank you for the prime. Yeah, we could ask the Ouija board, but we're not going to do that. And now we have the Blood Moon for the rest of the game here. Let's go. Happy Halloween, Blobby. The coach waiting for it to be found, being like, what the hell? What's this guy doing, man? You got insta hunted after making the blood moon. That's how you get the. How you get the trophy, and apparently you don't have to actually get all of the cards before being able to get the trophy. You can just, um. You can just speed run the recipe. If you know the recipe, you can just get the trophy instantly, basically. Releasing even more ghosts. That's what people were telling me in the comments. I haven't tried it because I did it the, the regular way. But people said it works like that, so I don't know. Drop all of this. Boom, boom, boom. I'll place the writing book just so that happens. And then we need UV. We have the board right here, so we should probably just fill up our sanity. Emerald Repulsor, thank you for the 26. You have to check off all the pumpkins? Okay, I guess people were just... I don't know, there were, there were several people saying that they got the trophy without doing the pumpkins, but... I don't know. Maybe it's just, uh... Maybe they were lying. I don't know. Grab this, grab this. Me when I spread misinformation on the internet. Do we need to do anything? Firelight. Grab this thing. Actually, grab this. We should, actually, we should fill up our sanity. How to get the trophy? Yeah, I mean, the jury is still out if you need to get the recipe cards or not. I would ass I assumed you had to. Um, you 100% do not have to get each map. Okay, so you do not have to get each map. Uh, we're just gonna. I'm just quickly dropping this here to speed up things to make it a little smoother for the YouTube. It's writing in the book. Don't say it yet. We're pretending not to be playing right now. <laughs> We're pretending to make a YouTube cut right here. Yes, sir. Thank you for the donation. But YouTube is here. The other YouTube is here. <laughs> it's, see, this is why... This is the stuff you don't see. If, you only, if you've only ever watched the regular video... Re regular videos... These stuff all get cut out. You don't notice that because you're just used to it being so smooth. We have incense and repel. Okay. Repel and then firelight as well. And then we got everything. I already got the photo cam in there. This is not a deal. Fog. You don't need the recipe cards. Okay. It seems like people are in agreement about that. Yeah, you, you just do the recipe. That's it. Anyway. I love this thing. Alrighty, look at this. We got everything set up. We even have the stuff. We have writing, which we already heard earlier. Uh, 
We have even the stuff for the objectives here. We need to smudge the ghost as well as cleanse the ghost, I think. Yeah, so just do that during a hunt and we'll be fine. Uh, we should be at like 100% sanity. Let's set up the uh, dots. We're playing unprofessional right now. We get an airball ghost event, so no Oni. Uh, Razorblade, thank you for the five gift subs. We get... So we have riding. Means that. We had a hunt earlier that was early enough to rule out shade. And I check for Orbeez. Any Orbos? Uh, I think that's orbs. I swear I saw orbs there, but then they disappeared. Excuse me? Am I insane? Ghost? I really thought I saw orbs, but I guess not. Wait, what? Did the ghost literally just change ghost room? It's been just neatly sitting in this room for the whole time. Maybe it's in the middle, actually. Oh, there it is. Yeah, ghost orbs out here. Uh... Maybe this ghost room works a little different right now. Why is this like a one time? Oh, there we go. It's like all the way at the corner of the... Maybe they need to iron out some of the ghost orb spawn still. Because that is a bit of a weird spawn. So yeah, if you get... This is why I want to play a bunch of normal games. Because uh, you don't know these quirks. Like, there's so many little things I know about all of the maps. Uh, from just experience playing on the map. So it's important to actually get hands-on experience. So we're down to Mayor Revenant Thay. Can't be a mimic because we got ghost riding. Seems unlikely to be... Could very much be a Revenant because then that explains why it didn't find us for so long. Could it be Spear Box? It could be Spear Box. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Oh, we got Sparrow Box. Alrighty. Maybe we should play in Nightmare Mode after this. I just wanted to make sure the first round. I think I want to play Nightmare Mode maybe with the screens enabled. Because uh, that was a very fast round. Uh, it is just a regular old mare. We're going to take a photo of this book. And we're going to take a photo. We can actually take 100% photos here. We didn't find the bone, strangely enough. I guess it's in one of the tents. Wait, let's quickly just do a perfect game here. We're quickly going to find the bone in one of the tents. Wherever it is. Got to be somewhere, right? We, we basically checked the whole map. It used, to, it used to be fairly easy to find the bone on this map. Um, and boom, 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 boom. You can ask for bone. True. But I'm... Oh. Ghost? I guess we could just... Can I take this photo? Oh, it's hunting. All right, I'm fucking dead. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was hunting there for a second. Okay. Uh, well, we got the ghost photo. Let's just ask the board where the bone is. It's going to take all our fr freaking sanity. Uh, you know what? Before that, we should... No, we should just ask the board this right away. And then the ghost can start hunting. We can get our cleanse objective. Where is the bone? Where is the bone? Goodbye. White tent. White tent. I'm going to run the frick out of here, though. Uh, we should try and get some photos off the board. You can get all the... As long as you find the bone. I'm not going to take a photo here. I'm just going to have the, the smudge dig. Because remember, if you ask for... I think it's hunting. Uh, this is the white tent. We were literally just about to find it. Unless it's hidden. Maybe it's... Wait, what? Excuse me? Was I going to say something else? Or is there multiple white tents? There's multiple white tents? What? Or is this... Uh, this is a gray tent. Excuse me? Wait, it was literally spelling out white. What was it going to say? I couldn't stay there because it was going to freaking attack me. Wait, what? It was, it started W-H-I, right? Am I trolled? Is it here, like, hidden somewhere? I think the ghost might be. This is gonna be, get ready for a lot of out-of-bounds boners, dude. Uh, oh, is there a white house? There's, <laughs> it's fucking the, we're gonna break into the white house. Steal the bone from the president. I don't think it's here. I think it's glitched. That's gonna be a thing that's gonna be happening a lot. Because of all the new ghost room setups are going to be like, uh, like turbo glitched for a while until they iron out the, the borders of all the rooms. Um, I don't know. We could, we could just quickly take, uh, 
I don't think I can ask the question again because it will just run out. There's a white tent by the lake. Maybe it was going to say a number. Let's quickly check if there's a white tent somewhere else. Um, is there a white tent here? No white tent here. I don't know why they would have multiple white tents, but... Let's check if there's one over here somewhere. Turn the breaker back on. Captain Kales, thank you for the five. Or it's going to be white storage tent number 17 or something. It could be that. I don't know. No tents out here, right? There's nothing out here. Yeah, I think it's just glitched. Put the map in the truck. It doesn't say the map, right? We should just ask the question again. Maybe it's like, uh, um, maybe it was going to say something else. Maybe the witch's cauldron or something. Like, I don't know. But I'm curious now. Sign. Oh, well, it's hunting. Hello, ghost. Can we quickly do this objective? That would be really nice. Can you come over here? Oh, never mind. It's tough. Might be in the green tent, even though it said white. What the fuck? That is stupid. Turn off the breaker fucking again, dude. You would almost start to believe that mares turn off breakers more frequently, but it's not actually a thing. Uh, we cannot possibly ask the thing again. So we have one white tent. That's all we got. Because we don't have enough sanity. We already took all the other sanity pills, right? So, ripperoni. I mean, what the fuck? Did the ghost is colorblind? Check cauldron. Hypno just thank you for the five. Let's see. Is, is this color new? I don't remember that being an orange color like that. I like that color. It could have been white storage tent, maybe. But I feel like that's just insanely rude. Should have just said storage tent and then like a number or something. It's only the white tent that starts with WHI. Yeah, I, I feel like that's true. I feel like it's just bug. But people are losing their mind. I don't think we're gonna We're gonna see. But maybe it's in front or behind it. Maybe it's like to the side of the thing, like in this bush or something. I'm not seeing anything. I think it's just glitched. I think I get most likely maybe it's underneath some of the shoes. Yeah, it has to be white tents. We checked everywhere else and it's just not here, which is just par for the course. You can't pick... Oh, I have to smudge the ghost. Uh, you can't pick up bones through things anymore, I think. Like, if it was underneath here, you couldn't even pick it up. You used to be able to... Like, if it's hidden under here, you could pick it up, but that's no longer a thing. Anyway, ghost, could you find me? If you don't find me, I'm going to break the board, and then I'm going to be killed by an insta-hunt on top of me. Check the other tents. Yeah, I, I already checked the tents, though. I guess... Like, why would it be green tent if it said white tent? Like, I know there's other... Like, there's other theoretical things that could start with white, but there's nothing... Why would it be in the blue tent if it said white tent? Doesn't make any fucking sense. On the yellow tent... It's just not there. It just It's just bug. Like... Fucking tell me you've never played this game without telling me. You expect it to always function as intended. Fucking make me laugh. Don't make me laugh, I mean. This game is notorious for being broken as shit. <laughs> okay, come on, ghost. Ask again. I can't. I don't have enough sanity. You, you want me to ask again? All right, here we go. Where's the bone? What a surprise. It broke. Okay, let's smudge the ghost. Hi. Uh, I'm smudging. I'm running. Let's let's put this new new line of sight breaking to the test, dude. This is actually insane. I kind of want to see if I can fly. 
Can I fly and stay alive against the ghost? Can you kill me up here? Ghost! Hey! Come over here! I want to see if this drink. Ghost! Hello! I don't think it's gonna fuck. Oh! There it comes! Let's see. Does this work? Or will I die? <laughs> I'm a hacker, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't, don't, you're not seeing this. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> Get it off the screen. This is, this. these are, I saw Psycho test so many save spots on this map. There's like a, a, a set of like five different spots where you can hide and you just will not die. Uh, so yeah, if you wanted to play this map and survive, right now is your chance because there's so many different broken things. Now, obviously, this one is the most broken. Uh, there's also stuff like this back here. Literally, if you just get into this uh, hiding spot right here, it's just, it, it makes you invulnerable. You can't get killed when you're back here. I think you can only get killed if the ghost is on that side, so maybe I would get killed there. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna get out of here. That was our first game. Let's do a bunch more games so we have some different ghost rooms. Uh, look at that beautiful skull. I love the, I love the visuals. Like I think the Maple Lodge is absolutely phenomenal. The Maple Lodge map, the 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 graphics on it are incredible. Thank you for all the gifts. What the hell? What just happened? Wait, excuse me. Holy shit, Hypno! This is giving a hundred gifts. It didn't even crash the stream. Let's go. <laughs> no crash, baby. Thank you so much for the 100 gift subs. That's insane. Okay, um, we're gonna leave. Get me out of here. I really think that they did an incredible job. Gotta love how the photos of the Ouija board never work. Uh, incredible job of Maple Lodge. Uh, I do miss something on the other maps, right? Like, it's only Maple Lodge that has gotten something with this update. Uh, and none of the other maps have gotten any decorations or any special ghosts. But that's, we're just being greedy right now. So yeah, that was our first round in 40 minute round. Anyway, let's hop in, or hop back in. Level 10 hype train just off of, off of one thing right there. Let's do nightmare mode now. But let's, um, do we set a specific weather? I don't want to have, do we want to see specific weather? Let's do custom real quick. And load nightmare. And then I want to have the... Do we just do Nightmare? Let's just do Nightmare. Whatever weather we get, we get. We'll see how hard it is. I just... If I get heavy rain, I might restry here real quick. Because I don't want to have heavy rain on the second round here. Just annoying. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, here we go. Alrighty. Uh, we are playing Nightmare Mode now, just to make it a little bit more tricky and see how hard it is to get evidence on the new map. I just assumed that it was going to be hard because it's a media map, right? It's Maple Lodge. But maybe the new Maple Lodge is different and it's way easier. It really depends on how, m how many, like, open ghost rooms there are, because... If you have a ghost room that's like out in, out in like a campfire or something, it's going to make it very hard to uh, narrow the ghost down and get something like dots because you can't really place the dots anywhere. Star Sapphire, thank you for all the gift subs too. We're going to be looking for Slender. Uh, I should quickly check where the... Where the breaker is. The breaker is... Oh, we don't know because we're playing Nightmare. <laughs> of course. Of course. Yeah, it still freezes for me, but I think that's just... Once I uh, move into my new house, which uh, I'm going to start doing a month from now, pretty much, because uh, I get the keys in December, I will be getting a brand new PC setup. I'm going to get a new computer for my new office. So... I don't have to deal with this garbage because I think my computer's just old. I think that's the problem here. I think that's what's, what's making my game lag. Some... Oh, that's a tarp sound. What the fuck? I thought someone was fucking roasting or like freaking putting popcorn in the microwave. <laughs> Hypno has to give all the gift subs. Okay, this is the new sound for when rain hits the tar. I feel like it's a little too poppy. It pops a little too much like fire, if I'm honest. <laughs> I don't think that's very realistic if I, if I, if I have to be, or if I, if I'm 100% honest. I can get used to it. It's not that bad, but, um, 
That's a little too fire poppy. Like I, when I first heard it, it in no means immediately clicked like, oh, that's that's rain, of course. Uh, I, ho I thought it was the ghost turning on this fire for a second there, but no. All right, where's the breaker? It's very crunchy. But I guess they probably just step. We don't have this one this time. They probably just tested with like regular tarp. So I guess it sounds like that. Does it sound like that? That's that snappy, that crunchy? Is it really that crunchy? Jazz, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. It's very crunchy. The breaker all the way back here. What the fuck? What the hell is this breaker, dude? Excuse me? Um, I'm lost in the sauce. Is it in the reception? Thank you so much for all the gifts, by the way. What the fuck? I don't know where this breaker is. I'm, I'm trying to find it. Is it in reception? Lana, thank you for the five gifts of too. Thank you, guys. Where do you get stolen? Just chill. See if it's in here. Sticker. Nope, not in here. Is it just at the entrance? Gotta be around the fire. Did I just miss it? I just walk past it for some reason. Well, this is blocked now. What? <laughs> to where it was before? I checked. I didn't. I didn't see it. Hypno Disc, thank you for the five more gift subs. Wait, I looked and I didn't see it, but maybe I'm blind. Uh, it's literally here again. Okay, I'm just blind. All right, we turn on the breaker. Let's go. It took me way too long to find the exact same breaker. I'm an idiot. We didn't see the ghost, though. Uh, but apparently, we were, we were talking about it. Apparently, this is normal. This is really... Give me feedback. Uh, like, I, I know you guys on stream said it. It sounds very slappy. Like, I feel like it would be slightly more... Because it sounds like you hit something that's, like, completely solid. Like, you hit, like... Whereas this is like kind of bouncy, right? I mean, I guess, I guess it just sounds that crunchy. It sounds more like popcorn to me. I guess I haven't slept in a tent uh, in fucking a million years. It's pulled taut, I guess. All right, where's this freaking ghost? Hello, ghosty pants. We didn't hear anything. It's probably going to be cabin. Probably going to be cabin. Where's it coming from? Maybe it's because the, the like, direction of... Wait, is this the trees? What is this sound right now? I don't know what is it, what it is hitting, but it does not sound right. I, I, I guess I, I, I mean, I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong because many, many people are saying it sounds right. But to me, it sounds very wrong. But whatever. Where is our cursed possession? There's usually a hiding spot, so that's a glitch. Oh, of course. What do we have? Oh, it's literally right here. I said it was going to be cabin, and it's actually cabin. I know this might actually be a polder, guys. This ghost just thrown stuff all over the place. Uh, it has thrown this umbrella that's usually right here all the way over there. It's thrown all the shoes around. It didn't throw these, though. Hello, ghost. How are you doing? It knocked on the window. Give it a five off of that. We're playing uh, Nightmare now, so we're only going to get uh, two evidences. Well, we found the ghost. Let's quickly set up our... Uh, it threw the teeth around, even. Quickly. Look, you can actually see them move, by the way. You can see them float around. It's so fucked up. We're going to grab all the evidence. I should have put on the head cam. I keep forgetting that. It's close, but it's a little too poppy. I mean, you would have to play for yourself to hear the true sound, right? Maybe maybe the Twitch or YouTube compression makes it sound more soft than it actually is. Because it is extremely crunchy. Like, it, it sounds identical to popcorn to me. And I, I never realized that, like, sleeping in a tent is just, like, microwaving popcorn for, <laughs> like, the whole night if it's raining. Grabbing all of this. It's gonna be a little bit though, but luckily I have this. Anyone wanna maybe eat popcorn? 
Dude, you need to discover the secrets of sweet and salted popcorn. If you've never had both sweet and salty popcorn, now it depends on the brand. Some brands do it really badly. But you, if you have a specific brand, like the brand that I like, which I, I have tested all the sweet and salty popcorns, they need to have imperfection. They need to be non-homogenous, heterogeneous, or whatever the fuck you, the word is. Uh, because what you want is that there's like little sugar, like sugar cubes, basically, inside of your popcorn. Where you like take a bite and you suddenly like crunch on a, on like a little sugar cube, like a tiny sugar cube in your, in your popcorn. Because if it's like equally spread out, like a little, like a glaze over the popcorn, it doesn't, it doesn't taste very well. Unless the whole popcorn is like kind of solidified and it's like a crunchy, sugary popcorn, but then the salt uh, sprinkled throughout. But I like when it's just the salt is equally distributed and the sugar is very like unequal. So most of the popcorn you eat is like mostly salty and then suddenly you get like this sugary crunch, which is just really neat. I love that. Chocolate popcorn sounds kind of fancy. Popcorn tier list. <laughs> Stop making me hungry. Hey, it's Halloween. You can fucking have a cheat day. You can eat some fucking candy if you want. Coffee popcorn. Not today. Honey salted popcorn. Sounds delicious. No, go to the gym. <laughs> 3 a.m. food talk. Alrighty, goes. How are you doing? I... Oh, turn on the TV. I wonder if it also rang the phone, because that's the Easter egg. Uh, that it rings the phone right after the TV. Turns off the TV. Interesting. Doesn't it? No, I don't think it leaves fingerprints on this, does it? That's uh, that's a, this is the go this is a ghost thing, <laughs> and this is a ghost that does. All right, let's place the writing book. We don't have another one, but that's okay. We'll place the dots right on this. Now this is a room we are. Oh, that doesn't fit very well. This is a room we're already familiar with, and we know that it can be very difficult to get evidence in this room. Where are you? Are you here. All righty, we get spirit box. Maybe mimic. Let's check for orbies. What the. F what is going on? Excuse me? It's a little child. It was standing right there. You saw that? I should have taken a photo. Whoopsie daisy. I'm not seeing any orbos. Very cold. Is it freezing? It is not freezing. Hi. Uh. Oh, you piece. You piece of bitch. You fucking ass. Why did you disappear so far away from me? Hey, welcome Raiders. What? Um, Mayor? Excuse me? <laughs> did you just do a Mayor ability? Did I, t I turn another Mayor? Are you kidding me? I turn on the light and it immediately turn it off. Uh, what are we looking for if it's a Mayor riding? Ghost riding or ghost orbs, right? Wait a minute. It's not ghost orbs, so it's gotta be ghost riding. Are you serious? After all we've been through, it's just gonna be another mare. All right, well, that makes my life very easy. Unless I, unless I for some reason just turn off the light, like for, like by itself. I'm not seeing any orbs though. Could you please write in the book? Could you write in the orb in the kitchen? I didn't see it. Oh, fuck. But it's hunted from the darkness. Let's see if we can get away. This would usually be, oh fuck, I'm. Dude, even like that, you can still get away. Dude, absolutely insane. I'm gonna go the long way here to try and break line of sight. This is a good practice to see um, how you would get away from a ghost. Just if you turn off your equipment and you just break line of sight, it's so easy. This map has gone from like a genuine like hardest map to probably the easiest medium map or the easiest large map. Which is kind of wild and honestly a welcome di difference because that was the main thing I feel that a lot of people disliked about 
uh, Maple Lodge was that it was just so incredibly difficult. All right. Well, let's just see. Uh, this is a regular cabin ghost. Uh, we we had to run away from it once, which you saw worked worked uh, totally fine. I'm assuming we saw a mare ability there. If we didn't, we're going to look like fools right now, but we'll see. <laughs> Not a large map, right? That doesn't make any sense. Are we dumb? We are indeed dumb. Okay. <laughs> Okay, whoopsie daisy. Well, it didn't seem any faster, so I guess that was just a regular, uh, regular hunt. Okay, uh, just forget about that one. I may or may not be a dumbass. I mean, to be fair, that's a good example of how you shouldn't just go off of, like, one thing, one little piece of evidence, because even though it turned off the light switch immediately after I turn it on, uh, that doesn't mean that it necessarily has to be a uh, mayor. Uh, anyway. We got Justin, Firelight EMF. Let's hope we get it in one of the new rooms, and let's hope we see Slender, because we didn't see Slender that time. Uh, sucks that we're playing on Nightmare Mode and we can't see the Breaker, but we're gonna learn where they are. We have already done the event several times. We'll do it again here. We're just playing the game. We're just playing some regular Nightmare games on Maple Lodge just to get a feel for how the different ghost rooms work out. We're familiar with the... I would love to get... I don't know if there's anything against, like, having a campfire ghost, like, if they don't spawn anymore. But I would love to have a potential campfire ghost, because those were usually the hardest. Especially, like, like if you think about the, the old campfire, right? Where it was this, like, one area with the campfire, and then there's this huge open road leading away from the campfire. If you ran away from the ghost... You would just be in line of sight the whole time, which meant that the ghost would speed up to the point of, like, absolutely destroying your ass. And there was, like, nothing you could do. So now, with this many line of sight breaks, all you have to do is just hug the corners very well. Like, you don't even necessarily have to turn off your equipment all the time, because if you just hug the corners properly, it will prevent you from being seen. Or, and the ghost will not speed up. And if the ghost doesn't speed up, you're faster than the ghost. Because that's why, originally, when the game first came out, you could loop the ghost forever because they didn't speed up uh, over time. Alrighty, let's hope it's not a cabin ghost. We're going to walk around a little bit more. We've turned on the breaker. Uh, I can turn on some lights. Maybe check out here. It's another rainy... It's another popcorn weather. We have music box we, or a uh, monkey ball. We do not. I still don't know where the mirror spawns now. It doesn't spawn no music box, no summoning circle. Maybe board again? Let's see. It's raining popcorn. Um, thank you for the gift sub. <clears throat> Errors in the office. On the... Wait, in the office upstairs in the lodge? Really? Kind of fucking annoying. I was hoping it would be in the reception. Oh, it's here! Yeah, yeah, there you go. The mirror is in the reception. Look at that. So, uh, that's really good. That means you can just walk into the map and then immediately grab yourself the mirror and find the ghost room, which is gonna be upstairs in the cabin again. All right, we're gonna do some quick YouTube magic. And get a different ghost, because I don't want to have just cabin ghosts, because we already know fucking cabin ghosts. We've done them, like, hundreds of times throughout Maple Lodge history. <laughs> I want to get a new ghost room, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Piggy Bloom, thank you for the gift sub. Now, let's hope we... I heard something fall. Does that mean that was the Ouija board? I want to get the mirror again. Maybe we get Slendy, too. <clears throat> oh, and it's nice uh, sunrise now. No mirror this time, but that's okay. A breaker here. I mean, we could force the mirror, right? Get less, uh, less money that way. Like, you get so much less money, it's insane. Well, there's only three breaker spawns. There's this one, that one, and one at the cabin. Is that correct? Arrow cards? Where are the tarot cards? Another good one. Fog is now the worst weather. Oh, I can imagine. With the new fog being so fucked up. It changed it completely. Get a pier ghost. 
That might be the hardest ghost you could possibly have. Anyone know? Oh, I heard it over there. It's not in the cabin. Monkey Paw location has changed? No, it's on the pier, right? I've seen it there before, I think. Maybe not. Where is it? Arrow cards are near the cabin at the, the desk or the table with the, all the cards on it. Okay, it's probably the twins, but let's pretend we don't know. See? Is it here? Ah, oh, look at that! The tarot cards are in the middle of all the other cards. Okay, well, you know the rule of tarot cards. We have to pull one. Oh, oh, baby. There you are. Hello. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave it here for now. Uh, we know that the ghost room is somewhere over there, so we don't have a cabin ghost this time because we already heard some sounds coming from there. <clears throat> so let's see it. Bam pool. I'm not gonna die. That would be stupid. I think it's in the campfire, which is amazing. Thing. Gotta figure out which side these doors open towards <laughs> to get you killed. I think it's a storage tent here. Right? One of these? Hello? Maybe all the way there? Is this supposed to be like this? I think so. Hmm. Confused. Over here, any stinky? Stinky ghost? There's not much stuff here. If you get a ghost. In this area? The EMF on? Yes. Um, what? It was throwing around a bunch of stuff when we walked here. The tent were moved? Yeah, it's just... It just goes like that. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's white tent like the bone in the previous game, but not really. Okay, so I'm assuming this is just a ghost room here. Let's see with the with the thermal. It's going up in here, but that might just be because it is sunrise weather. Does the the tents do cool, do warm up with the breaker, right? I think. Anyway, so we have a new ghost room, and this is perfect because this is gonna tell us like how hard this area is. I think this will totally be fine. No matter what the ghost he does here, I think we'll be able to totally outrun it uh, in all kinds of directions. We have to grab ourselves the evidence items real quick. Two points on a tent, or maybe you're right. I don't know. We'll see. We'll drink some water. You memorize the hiding spots. The thing with hiding in this game is that if you just know the core mechanics, you don't need to remember the hiding spots. You can you can hide like uh, on the fly. I mean, it depends on the type of room, right? If you do it on like Tanglewood, where there's only closets, like if you open a closet, it can be like randomly blocked. Whereas here. You can kind of see ahead of time, like, oh, I can hide there, I can hide there, I can use that as line of sight blocker, that, etc., etc. So it's way, uh, it's way easier. All right, we put all this shit here. Grafton, so, or you have maps like Grafton where there's always the same hiding spots. Will you do something special for Halloween? What do you mean? Playing the Halloween update for Phasmophobia. That is as Halloween as it gets. What do we need to do? EMF check. Propel. I can't do that. I don't have the inventory. I'll grab this. Whatever. I am orange. I'm using tier 1 UV because it's better. Better than uh, give out candy. I mean, you guys have been giving out candy to each other. It's like a fucking 100 million gift subs just a moment ago. Alrighty, buddy. I got for you a book. I got for you another book. And I have for you a dot sensor. That you will hopefully interact with. Let's check for orbs before we do this dot sensor. Because it is annoying as hell. Are you even here? I don't know. Dude, look at the... Wait, didn't I turn it off? Turn it off. 
and you give us a sign. So it touched this, but it might be in the... It might be outside here, because wait a minute. It's, it's cold breath here. This is on the floor, but I think that's normal. This could be a tricky ghost. Hey, touch that again. Find it in the ghost room. Um, it's probably actually... Okay, that's just again. It's probably going to be easier in a map like this because there's just more stuff all around, right? The previous Maple Lodge had less stuff. There's no fingies, but we're playing Nightmare Mode, so that doesn't have to mean anything. We have cold in here, so it is relatively cold in the tent, which I think means it's probably there. Uh, where are you? Um, where are you? Are you From here? Behind. That was literally, literally me. <laughs> where are you? Where are you? Where are you? From behind. Okay. Uh, it is spare box once again. Spare box, no mare, please. Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? I want to hear the close, uh, you know what, again. <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, keep reading the book, sir. So we have no orbs? To turn off the breaker. Uh, not a gym, but we already knew that. Did it say toasty? I didn't hear that. Seeing no orbies whatsoever, which means a no mimico to write in this book. You're kind of chill. Honestly, let's turn back on the dots. I feel like we placed that there. That would be the best. Like if it, because the dot supposedly walks towards the player, right? So then it would walk through the dots to me, like basically every time. Look how the tent lights up. What the fuck? <laughs> that looks insanely cool. This is, maybe that's why there was no bone last time, because it's actually the green tent. It's a radioactive tent. But EMF three. Uh, it's freezing. It's going, it's gone below zero. All righty. So we got freezing spare box. No mimic dope, most likely. I think it's gotta be the twins. Uh, based on just like the behavior, like, let's listen to the abilities. Can you do something? Like just the, the sometimes it does interactions very close together. I think. Can you give us a sign? We could also just uh, use the cursed possession, which is probably gonna be bored. Man, I love how that looks, dude. That is sick. Quickly find the cursed possession. Yeah, oh, there was tarot cards. It was tarot cards. Of course. Of course. Let's just bring those over here. I have a flashlight. So. I wish they would finally make this a separate button already. Or you don't have to turn off your flashlight while trying to turn on your head cam. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. Level guide. You can use the challenge mode to level up. Like, literally, even after you beat it, you can still keep doing the challenge mode. I mean, this one is pretty hard because there's no evidence, obviously, but other ones will be better. Like, the speedrun one will be better. Or just, like, play normal professional. Alrighty, buddy. Uh, let's see. We got tarot cards. Uh, we're gonna go a little crazy, I guess. We don't have any... We don't have a smudge stick. But we'll be fine, right? What's the worst that could happen? Let's just start pulling. Please give me... Okay, that's good. Sounded kind of faster, but I'm not entirely sure. Look how much you can break line of sight. It's actually insanely disgusting. It is... Like, this feels so unfair to the ghost. You literally just fucking hold W. You run away, and the ghost will lose you. Like, I know that, like, I'm obviously moving around without using the flashlight much. But, which is a testament to how this is not very hard to do. Because I've literally played on this game, like, seven times total in my entire fucking life until now um just turn off your flashlight when you're close to the ghost make sure to crouch down and break line of sight using as many objects as possible like if you're running away try to like let's say you're running away from the ghost instead of like running like this and just keep running run like this and then scoot behind the object you just passed and then keep running forward and that's how you con that is basically like 
uh, the strategy of how to run away from, like, literally any ghost. Just, uh, like, you can open doors sometimes. This time you obviously can't because these doors you cannot open. Uh, but just run away and try to hug walls, uh, hug items that break line of sight. Try and put as much shit as possible between you and the ghost. All right, we'll pull some more card. Oh, fuck. The ghost of it? Oh, come on. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Dude, this tent is so glowy. Oh, here we go. You peace! No, don't be greedy. Oh, shit. You son of a bitch. Is it slow this time? That was kind of normal speed. Maybe I'm just wrong. It's another Mora. They got spare box, right? They got spare box freezing. I think it sounds normal, so no twins then. Oh no, it sees me. What what could possibly happen? Oh, just break line of sight. Easiest game of my life. And it doesn't stand a chance. It's actually fucked. Like, I know I'm walking around in the dark, but it's not that hard because it's like, I. it depends on the weather, I guess. Like, if you have uh, a more dark weather, it might be a little more tricky to walk around like this. Okay, so it doesn't seem like the twins after all, because it's kind of... That was pretty slow. Uh, but anyway, our sanity should be draining extremely fast if this is a Moroi, because we just got the spirit box right. That's right. Lasts fucking forever. Where are you? Are you Walking to the ghost. Where are you? Where are you? Close to ah. Where, Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Okay, I'm just gonna leave uh, because our sanity is good. Let's just grab the. Let's drop this here. And grab ourselves a cru or a crucifix with a candle deal because that's gonna allow us to rule out on Rio here. It's so nice, man. Like it feels way more interactive running around the map. Like I basically did the whole freaking pass through the map. Like it's one massive loop, kind of. Like obviously I'm not a professional yet because I haven't played on it much. But like you have this whole like every single area is so so safe now. Like you have so many items to break line of sight and you can. You can break line of sight and you could either go there, you can go there, keep breaking line of sight, go in here. There's so many little corners and nooks and crannies that you can just get around. It's insane. Like, even if you wouldn't turn off your flashlight, you would still be able to, um, uh, to safely get away, I feel. Like, maybe we should try that, just the no, don't turn off your flashlight challenge. And see if we can still get away from it or if it will like stay on our ass because obviously that's not very reasonable to assume that everyone who plays this game will play it like how I do. I'm gonna put this here. Uh, put this on top. There we go. We're gonna grab our flashlight. This could be bad because I don't have... Let's just be stupid. Let's see how, how bad it gets. Maybe we'll die. We'll learn something. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Let's get the shit out of me. What is it? Look at jump scare by the tent door. All right, can you give us a sign? They blew out the candle. They blew it out again. This is such an unreal. <laughs> Throwing stuff around. You don't like it here? You don't like this candle, friend? They're gonna immediately... That was the second blowout, right? Let's see if it blows out this candle and immediately hunts. I'm curious. Because that would be on Rio, right? Come on, do it. If it hunts from there now, I'm fucked though, because I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a smudge. Come on, blow it out and hunt. Candle? I mean, it's considered a candle. It's a fire light, I guess. Whatever. I turn this shit off. It's annoying. Here, do something. Hey! 
and it hunts right after. Look at that. A perfect example. I mean, once again, the same thing with the fucking mare we just th thought we had, which actually ended up being a Moroi. That could also be a fucking, like, accidental other ghost. But it blew out the candle three times in a row. And after the third one, it immediately hunted, which is like the Unreal thing, where if it blows out three candles on the third one, it will hunt. Uh, so, yeah, let's assume that this ghost actually uh reacted like how a normal ghost should we haven't seen slender though strangely enough like he should be either back here over there or like in a few other spots in the map all right well that's gonna be on rio hopefully a favorite challenge for sure no evidence i love that shit There you go. Okay, this time the ghost actually did act as intended. Uh, is what map is this? So this is a media map, right? Because you get 25 extra dollars, which they totally shafted big maps, by the way. Like, it's insane how they really need to change the rewards for big maps. Like, the fact that you only get 25 extra dollars for playing on prison compared to Tanglewood is just so fucking insane. Like, it, like I, I haven't really thought about that yet, but it is unbelievably dumb how the you only get 25 percent more for playing on a map that's literally like 20 times larger than tanglewood like it is fucking ludicrously you i mean you only have to deal with 29 rooms but one room in this is like a fucking entire cell block so technically it's only three times larger but like actually it is way 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 larger so yeah i don't know why uh it's it's 28 ma 28 rooms by the way uh or at least according to this stat, which some rooms might be very large, so it doesn't mean much. Um, but yeah, I don't know why they give you so little payout for playing on a media map. Like, especially it doesn't, I don't understand. So I don't know if the new map, the lighthouse map, is going to be medium or small. It's probably going to be medium if they keep doing what they're doing, which is adding media map. They've added, since Phasmo came out, they've added one small map, which was Willow. And besides that, they've added Prison, they've added Maple. Oh, they added Camp Woodwind, but that was like a literal, uh, like, few-hour deal. And I hate Camp Woodwind, so I don't even consider that one. That doesn't count. Um, so we have Prison. Maple Lodge, probably Lighthouse, Sunny Meadows, obviously. All of these are massive maps. So they really like making massive maps, which I think like the medium maps are very good looking as well. But I just don't understand why they like don't incentivize the player whatsoever to play on them by giving them like reasonably higher reward. Previously, you used to get like a five times higher reward when you played on, on Asylum. Like you used to get 10 dollars if you played on tanglewood and 50 if you played on asylum which is five times now it goes from 100 to 150 so it's only a 50 percent increase so instead of a 500 percent increase you now get a 50 percent increase they oh there's Sl slenderman they literally like divided it by 10 how much more rewards you get for playing a large map which is kind of unbelievable which yeah, there he is uh, he's so freaking close to the Seems a little strange, almost, that he's so close. But yeah, there, you can see him. He's hanging out with the fireflies. Hello, Mr. Schlendy. Yeah, I don't know why why they have decided to nerf the big maps so hard compared to small maps. It's mostly just, obviously, that they have buffed the small maps a lot. And they didn't feel like buffing the media maps, uh, like, relative or the, the similar amount relative to how it used to be. But it just makes playing on big maps feel pretty much worthless besides the experience. Like, let me know if you regularly play on media maps. It probably depends on if you play with a team or not. Like, I play mostly solo, so playing on a media map, not only you have to deal with media map bullshit, but also bringing items to the ghost room just costs you so much more time that it is just actually completely not worth to do it. Yeah, we got the breaker on. Seems like there's only three breaker spots. This one, the one in the storage, and the one next to the toilet. We're gonna quickly try and find the uh, curse possession here. Hopefully, no, none of that. Nice. Uh, so to fight the ghost room, we have a boner. Look at that. Pick that up. Maybe monkey paw. People said that the monkey paw moved, but I' pretty sure it should still just be here. Like, why wouldn't it still be there? That's the exact same location as before. I don't know. Do we have tarot cards again? We don't. Where is it now, though? 
Music box moved too. Why? Is it storage now? It just doesn't make much sense. Like, why make it confusing? I mean, I guess it's only confusing for people that have played the map before. Let's see. So where is it? Here somewhere? Or is it on the other side? I thought this was considered storage. In the porta potty? The porta potty is sometimes unlocked, yeah. Top of a barrel? Really? <clears throat> so they made it closer to the entrance, which I guess is kind of a good thing. So it's on, on top of one of these barrels. I'm not seeing it right now, but I probably just don't have it. Okay, well, let's see if it's uh, just going to be mirror again. Ah, mirror. It's probably going to be fucking bored. Annoying. And the music box is somewhere here? In the... It would be... Make sense over there. Music box is at the screaming skull. Let's see. I'm learning. Do 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 do. Uh, it's not here. So it's gotta be. Wait. I checked for tarot cards. I checked for mirror. I checked for board. I checked for summoning circle. Which unless they move summoning circle as well. I checked for summoning circle, right? It's monkey paw. Where the fuck is monkey paw? Not mirror. Wait, let's see. Okay, so it's got to be in here. In this room somewhere. No. On top of a barrel. Hold on. Not here. This is very hard to see. If you don't know where it is. Because I checked my bathroom's on a barrel. It's not here. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting, dude. I love it. I'm assuming it's not here. Oh, voodoo! Voodoo, 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 voodoo. That's probably going to be at the campfire, right? So disgusting. I love it. Where is it? Is it not here? At the table in that house in the bed? It's in the cabin now? That is extremely confusing that they... Like, when they... I understand moving something like the tarot cards around because the, the place where it used to be spawned doesn't exist anymore. But moving the items that were already somewhere to a different place, even when the old place is still just there, is very confusing. Dole is below one of the pumpkins in the campfire? Oh, wait, it is at the campfire. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> this is very confusing. I like moving the cursed possession. Uh, can you explain why? Because I don't understand. Oh, there you are! Okay, so he used to be over here. Now the voodoo doll is over here. Okay, so you're going to be looking... It turns out that a few of the uh, cursed possessions have also changed position. Uh, for example, the monkey paw is apparently no longer at the pier, which I don't know why, because it was there and, and the pier still exists. Apparently, it's in the storage area next to the toilet, the moldy toilet on one of the barrels, apparently. I haven't seen it yet. And uh, mu the music box is over at the little campfire over there. Uh, in the middle open area. So yeah, they also moved the music box. The summoning circle apparently is still in the same spot though, but yeah. Uh, also, obviously very important to know where the cursed possessions are. That's part of doing an investigation. I think it's probably, or that's part of knowing the secrets of a map. It's probably gonna be in the cabin because I haven't heard anything. So let's just uh, run over to the cabin and see if that's correct. I think so. Sucks that we get so many cabin ghosts. In a row. Unluckily. Sanity must be doo-doo. Yeah, probably. Hello, Mr. Ghost. Where are you? 
I saw the stream, it said 22 hours ago. What? Ah, uh, we go this way. So many little areas where you have like these several different ways to go. It's insane. It's either a shade or it's cabin. Probably cabin. Um, EMF? What? Is it out here? Probably up in the cabin, right? We're getting insanely unlucky. Wraith? Aha! Look at that! That is not where it's supposed to be. That is not where it's supposed to be. Alrighty, so we have another cabin ghost. We'll just stick around for this one. Seems like we're... It's impossible for us not to get cabin ghosts. It's still a good... Like, especially something like an upstairs cabin ghost used to be relatively difficult because you can't... Like, if the ghost hunts downstairs, you're still going to be kind of fucked because you can't really hide anywhere. There's no additional hiding spots up here. There's maybe that one, but I don't think I have it. Yeah, this one back here is a hiding spot. Uh, but anyway, we're just going to quickly grab all the items and I guess do the investigation. Sucks that we... I mean, what other ghost room do we really want to test? I guess the campfire would be a pretty important one. Campfire is, uh, used to be probably the hardest ghost room in the game. I don't have the fucking light switch. Where isn't it? Oh, it's at the thing here. Yes. That beautiful. Reception would be interesting. Reception might be the easiest room of all time. Like, the only thing that I can think can kill you there is just you accidentally, like, pulling a push door or pushing a pull door. Something like that. Because there's- you can literally go anywhere. Like, no matter where the ghost hunts from, no matter where you're positioned, there'll be, like, a way to escape. There's no bottle- there's no, like, uh... You can't get cornered. In that map. Or in the room, because there's two exits on both sides. What's the Halloween theme? Orange. Okay. Uh, we grab- We only need to do two trips anyway. We'll grab this, though. First on this ghost or her first ghost on this map was right here. So you can't have this as a ghost room because I was kind of curious about that. Because entrance was not possible in old Maple Lodge. You could not get an entrance ghost. Oh well, you used to be able to, but it was so fucked that they removed it. Because it was extremely frustrating. Monkey paw is not by the air or by the uh lake. It's here now, apparently. It's on this barrel right here, according to chat. But I haven't seen it yet, so I can't confirm. So that's what people said. Why is the truck positioned like that? I don't know! <laughs> I wish it was just pointed towards the... Towards the campsite. Oh wait, we should drop this upstairs. Because now you have to like, walk. Very annoyingly. What cursed possessions do we have? Um... You have the voodoo. Voodoo doo doo. Yeah, we could turn on all the cursed possessions and just find them real quick. That's a good good idea. I remember. Mummies, thank you for the two. It sucks walking all the way back. But that's just the this is why I wish they would like give you a proper like just a proper payout for playing the media maps is compared to like playing a small map because time investment wise it is a complete it is a it is very very stupid to waste your time doing a media map which is such a shame when the media maps are so fucking cool like it would be nice if by playing one media map yes it will take like four times maybe like three to four times as long as a usual small map run maybe on average between like two to two to four times so like on average three times longer but at least the payout is three times higher nope it's only 25 percent higher <laughs> it's just ridiculous i don't know That's stupid all right buddy have you written in the book yet you have not written the book okay uh, we have everything. We have another book, even. We have a dots projector, which I haven't seen dots in freaking years at this point. 
they're cold there is no freezing it seems you turn on this light i did not do that so no mare this time at least wait maybe i didn't i don't remember turning any of these lights on i think the ghost at that do we have orbs hello are you even here it's cold breath in here so i assume you're here i'm not seeing any orbs which means no mimic because orbs are forced for mimic it's probably going to be hunting very soon here where are you are you here i turned that one on but not this one i don't remember turning on the standing lamp but maybe that's maybe i'm very forgetful where are you are you here over here in the living room uh we got spare box let's go random emf kind of no oh, probably this sh what was this emf did it throw the book what the hell was that where are you where are you Sorry. that's the first time i've ever heard that one what the fuck far <laughs> that's v it's very rare for you to hear uh far away on the spirit box because in order for you to hear something like far you have to be in the same room with the ghost and the ghost room has to be large enough for the ghost to be so far that it gives you the far response but still in range of the spirit box at the same time so it has to be right on the edge of the spirit box i don't even know if you can get a far response on the tier one spirit box just because the range is so small Fuck. ah shit normal speed unlucky i'm gonna leave that there look how easy it is to get away from the ghost please touch some doors it's actually insane how easy this map is now i wonder if this even breaks the line of sight probably hearing nothing this is kind of tricky because sometimes the ghost will literally be coming right out of the door and you'll be just standing there you can't hear it i think it's upstairs though oh what the fuck um bolter or phantom hello Oh, fuck. Let's see if we can save this. Can I sprint, please? What the fuck? Okay, I lived. <laughs> Whoa, dude, the sprint was so delayed there. I think that was a phantom. I didn't see anything. I also just kind of... You know what I want to try? I want to... This is a uh, courtesy from chat. I want to turn on all the cursed possessions and just quickly confirm where all of them are. Just so we can uh, see where the new spawns are for the new items. I'm, I, I know it was crawling, but I didn't see it for fucking ever luckily we got saved by the bell there and the the hunt uh ran out i could have i guess ran into the toilet but if the ghost saw me go in there it was over anyway it was indeed a phantom let's go okay so we're gonna, gonna go into here we'll just load up a uh a nightmare mode and then make a change with the cursed possessions all of them please and I guess I'll turn this off then. This is pointless. I'll turn back on the, the screen of the fuse box on by default. Just to make it less annoying. Uh, we can even do just quick 100%, 100 like infinite sprint shit. Just to make it really quick and then... Wait, what the fuck? Player. Uh, and then do a separate game. Alright, here we go. Why was it the phantom? Because you couldn't see it at all basically during a hunt it was very slow blinking delete custom presets no you can overwrite them though look at that 6900 game we are extremely fast right now because i just wanted to have infinite sprint so we could quickly check these different locations so i want to see this one first because according to chat right over here is the monkey ball and they were totally correct so the monkey ball spawns on top of this barrel at the toilet here rather than the pier which still totally exists and is equally far away from the start of the map um it's kind of crazy like i i know they increase the performance and my game still freezes like like wildfire that's not that doesn't make any sense what did i just say um but it's the same on small maps so i don't think wildfire freezes <laughs> But it's just the thing with my computer. We're gonna fix that later. So the voodoo doll is here. Where's the music box? Very important. 
The music box is over here, right? So the voodoo doll's still there. Uh, the board is here. We know that one. That's still in the same spot as before. And the music box supposedly is in this campfire. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that one, easy peasy. Uh, the mirror, once again, is in the... So these are both pool doors. So every single door opens inwards to the camp or to the campsite, which is very important to know uh, so that you don't like accidentally run into a door and have to like clip, clip through it or something. Yeah, so this is the mirror. Uh, and then the summoning circle is still in the same spot, supposedly. And we also know the voodoo doll or the, the, the tarot cards here. Tarot cards are on the table with the cards. That is an easy one. And then the only one that has kept the same location, literally, is this one, right? Oh, no, no, the, the Ouija board. The Ouija board also kept the same location. So, yeah, this one is in the same spot, and the Ouija board is in the same spot. All right, so now we know all the location. Just quickly wanted to see that, uh, and let's do a normal game. Uh, I don't want to play with 150% speed. That is very silly. Just a regular old nightmare mode. Can we get heavy rain or something? That'd be wild. We just, it's the same location, that's what I said. You have, is this heavy rain? I think this is light rain again. Apparently, you know what I kind of want to see? I need to see fog. I need to see the fog weather, because apparently it is absolutely fucked up. Like, they made the fog weather look way, way, way worse. Let's literally just do a nightmare mode with fog here. I just want to see it. It's so bad. <laughs> it's super dense. Let's see. Uh, I need to see the fog weather. So people keep going on about how bad the fog weather is. We're going to play a game with the new fog weather. So the old fog weather was actually kind of OP. You could see better with the fog than without the fog. But now they've made it look way more dense, which might make it what i what maple lodge used to be for me every time previously when the get map first came out i used to quit the game as soon as i saw fog i was like fuck i don't want to play maple lodge on fog it was absolutely terrible but then they changed it and it was no longer a problem uh but now well, how does this look like oh baby <laughs> that is very very bright and annoying definitely don't want to be using the head cam too much Fire is a huge ball of light. It's, I don't know. It's just the light. It's like more volumetric lighting is going on or something. What is our curse position, by the way? It's, uh, is it mirror? I would love mirror here. We're going to see how this works during a hunt. It's also kind of flickering the lights. Oh, yeah. This is, this might become a, like, just a, an insta quit. If you get, oh, we get mirror. That's very nice. It is in the cabin again. That is totally fine, though, because that means we're going to have to run away through the entire fog. Oh, God. <laughs> the fuck? I mean, maybe if you turn on the lights, it won't be too bad. We just need to find the breaker. This is... uh, It's just... It's just more normal, honestly. Like, it, it's... I know it's worse, but the fog weather used to be, like, absolutely, like, weird as hell. Because it used to make the game look brighter. Like, it was more... Like, the fog basically was like glow-in-the-dark, which didn't make any sense. So now it looks more normal. But it is a little upsetting that they are changing stuff like that to make the game look darker when they also obviously need to fix the lighting system as soon as possible because it's a complete fucking disaster. So I... A little annoying when their priorities are backwards like that, but seems like we're gonna have to take a few step backwards before we take a step forward when it comes to the visibility in this game but it is what it is uh let's quickly turn on the breaker and grab some more items uh because i'm assuming it's over there the fog clips into the house i mean i heard or we'll, we'll check it in a moment here just don't understand why they would do stuff like that <laughs> knowing that it's gonna make the game less or like it's gonna make it less easy or harder I should, I should say to see when they still have this like huge thing to fix with the with the lighting system but hey i i it, it looks more realistic for sure it is here nice 
The lights in the reception hurt your eyes. It's very bright. Yeah, this is like normal, honestly. Like it's foggy, right? It's way too thick. I've never been in fog like this. I mean, maybe once in my life, I remember like not being able to see. Like there's been like a few times when you're like in the mountains or something and you're literally like in clouds where you can't see your hand in front of your face. But this is some fucking thick ass fog. Is this Phasmo? Oh, look who it is! It's Slendy Man! Slendy boy, how are you doing? Good to see you. Alright, we have to take a few tours. You know how it goes. We should actually start with these. Well, if we're gonna take two writing books, we might as well take two right away <laughs> so we get it by the time we come there. It's just. Cabin is like by far the farthest room, which is kind of annoying. Since I don't know if this is like a bug with the map or if it's just my terrible RNG showing its face, but we have played five games and no, we've played six games and four of them had a cabin ghost. What are the fucking chances? <laughs> that is like kind of ridiculous. Is this again? What are the damn chances? What is RNG? I mean, nothing beats the... When we played Ghost Hunter score and we had the same ghost out of, like, eight different ghosts five times in a row. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's unbelievably stupid. Be cool if Slender disappeared when you took a picture. Slender picture. Never get three stars because you can't be close enough. Okay, and let me just grab this, this, and I guess the dots. It's cool that many people are coming in and being like, what is this map? I don't know what this is, dude. This is Maple Lodge, my friend. The new one. Ooh, look at the glow, the purple. Like, at the, it's, it's weird how this fog works. Like, at the same time, you can and can't see far. Like, it's very thick, but also you can see pretty far through it. Like, look at that. I can... I don't know. I don't know how to put my finger on it. Like, there's no way that if the fog was this thick and you couldn't see, like, that grass over there, you could see fucking the pole all the way over there, right? You could see literally the pier all the way from here with this, like, huge amount of fog layer in between. But at the same time, you can't see the grass three meters to the side. It's, like, weird how... The distance, how the fog works. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it seems like the fog is less dense the further away from the character it gets. Which is, like, not how fog usually works. But anyway. Okay, how are you doing here? You haven't done any, uh, writing yet. Uh, where are you? Close to a bustling. <laughs> <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> He's close to what now? <laughs> okay, so not very cold in here. Let's see if this Orbeez. Another spirit box, by the way. Can you give us a sign? <laughs> threw something. At my f it threw a knife at my face? Well, that's a sign and a half right there. Excuse me? All right, then. <laughs> Spooky ghost. Place that like that. <laughs> Can you give us a sign again? Can you show yourself. I'm not seeing orbs, which means no mimic. Throwing the knife again? It's just literally throwing the knife around. Non-stop. Where'd it even go? It's gone? Is it outside? Uh, is it like in the... Oh, th th what the fuck? He's obsessed with it! Excuse me. I wish that, like, you could die because the ghost throws, like, a knife in your in your face. That would be so cool. It would also be very fucking annoying, but... Okay, can you do something? Can you... Oh. Ah! Normal? Uh, it's speeding up. I think you should go this way and not that way. If you want to run away. 
Hello, guys. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. I want to see if I can get away this way as well. I can just keep... Oh, God. I should... it's... It missed me? Is this considered a different floor? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hello? Ghost? What the fuck was that? Is this considered like upstairs? So the ghost doesn't detect your flashlight or something? Like what is going on? Thank you for the donation. Uh, that is very strange. Okay, well anyway, we, we still have everything in there. Uh, we all we could be testing for Unreal here. We really want to get one more evidence. It probably is gonna be freezing or something. It's it's actually considered a different floor. That would be we let's let's put it to the test. Let's learn more secrets about Maple Lodge because that would be very 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 important to know. You kidding me? Oh fuck me! Okay, br you can hug this as well to break line of sight for a while. Come on. Come on. What? What happened? Why did it get so fucking fast? Is this a gin? Excuse me. Holy shit. Is it just a mora? It's faster than usual. Oh, it's slowing down again. It just slows down over a really long time. That is so weird. Okay, well, the I feel like almost... I feel like turning on lights is less... Is it make, It's making it harder to see. Look, with, with the light, it's way harder to see them without the light. Which I guess to a certain degree is actually true in fog. When it's super foggy. But interesting. Alright, come on, ghost. You're not writing. Fucking seriously? Okay, I'm dead. It's some fucking moroi, of course. Can I sprint? Can I give a spin? <laughs> I thought it was a fucking jet, dude. Why did it get so slow? Wait, no, is it hot too? What is. No, it can't be hot too. What the fuck? Why did it get so slow after. Like, this, the hunt. During that hunt, right? It slowed down so much to the point where I felt like it couldn't be a Moroi because the Moroi wouldn't slow down that much. But very, very, very strange behavior. I guess it was just because it was actively draining my sanity because of the Moroi curse, right? Uh, that was just... That was just a Moroi in action. A good showcase, though, of if you have a fast ghost... Stuff can definitely go wrong. Now, to be to be totally fair with Maple Lodge right there, we were doing something stupid, right? I was trying to get the ghost to come to the reception area so I could do a test over there. Uh, but so abilities used means the the curse, right? It cursed you once, which uh, I want to test this real quick. I have to test if that reception is considered a different floor, if that was or if that was just a weird interaction. Uh, let's quickly set up a, a weird test for this let's just do a infinite sprint infinite this and all the cursed possessions so we can just grab what we want and test it he was close to busting sure <laughs> chain hunt yeah that was just insane. Okay, let's see. So we're really fast now because all we want to do is just quickly test this. I guess I'll grab a uh, incense as well, just to make sure that we do. Oh no, I need to change this. Fuck me. Don't do fog. That's super annoying. This is my favorite Outlast. I mean, the first one is absolutely legendary, but I think replay, like for replayability, I like the Outlast Trials the most. It's very fun. I mean, I know you might consider that sacrilege because it's a <laughs> very different type of game, but it still very much feels like Outlast. Like it's very similar. Sophie, thank you for the sub. Alright, we're gonna learn the last secret of Maple Lodge here. Let's see. 
What do we got? We got Eva Everly. Didn't we just have an Eva as well? Uh, we have all the cursed possession. We're literally just testing Audi. Uh, I think I have the breaker on. No, I don't have the breaker on. That's fine, though. All right, where's the ghost? The Oh. What the fuck? The ghost is in the outside area. Interesting. I'm going to pull up the mirror th four times. Now to go shoot hunt. But it's like right in front of the... It's basically perfect for what we want to try right now. Can we quickly turn on the breaker? Breaker's not there. Dude, I love having 150% speed. Breaker is there. Okay. Probably going to start hunting before I get back, though, unless this is some kind of super shy shade. I want to have the lights on. Oh, the light is already on. Nice. All right, buddy. Now you can hunt me. So what we want to try is having it... Having it chase us to the to the reception desk and see if it can find us through this wall here. Come on, ghost. Do it. It's gonna be revenant. Open both of these. I guess we could just. I guess we're just gonna break the mirror. This ghost is not hunting fast enough. It's literally right in front. Okay, here we go. So come on. It's right there. Hello, hello, hello. Fuck, I have to sit here. Let's see. Okay, it might just work. Oh, uh, no? Wait, what? Oh, no, no, no. It, it totally just look, finds you. But it's like... Is this the poltergeist, by the way? Whoa! Wait, what? Oh, no, those are flies. Hello? Throwing a lot of shit. I'm running. Ah! Are you Polter? It's not a yokai. Nah, no, it's not a Polter, guys. So you can just find me no problem in here. Ah! Yep, alright. <laughs> unless, unless that was really unlucky. This is weird. It's speeding up, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, so this that was just a weird coincidence that that happened. This is not considered a different floor, but it makes a lot of sense. It would have made no sense if that was, uh, that wasn't how it worked. So yeah, basically, uh, in order to survive, so I don't know if this was just my RNG, probably just my RNG, but we played like six games and four of them were all cabin ghosts. So I don't know if there's currently a bug with the RNG. Uh, because of unity bullshit or something and you just are, are way more likely to get cabin ghosts more likely It's just a weird Coincidence because we had two upstairs ghosts three downstairs ghosts and I also quit on one of them So I don't even know what the fuck happened. Uh, then we had a bathroom ghost as well and Like obviously we're not gonna be able to test every single one of the ghost rooms, but the core com the core like uh, Way you need to hide is the same on every map like crouch down which until they take fucking crouch sprinting away, which uh, it'll probably be far in the future, so we don't have to worry about that much. Uh, but crouch down to make your hitbox as small as possible. Oops. And then put put objects between you and the ghost. So like close doors behind you if you can uh, to break line of sight. Hug walls. So like this, this will break line of sight. Hug this wall, breaks line of sight. That is like all, this is the, the rule counts on every single map, not just m m large maps with furniture hiding, but like on Tanglewood as well, break line of sight with the car, stuff like that. It's it's just like the the same, the same rules still apply. Like the oh, hallway like this is actually insane. Just like, even if the ghost is right on your fucking ass, like obviously if it's too close, you're kind of doomed. Like that's what you saw with the Moroi, or like, oh, I almost died to that phantom a few rounds ago. But like, you can break line of sight so efficiently with these boxes here, and then you can break this. And especially if you manage to turn off your flashlight and still run around uh, without losing your way, like it's gonna make you basically unkillable on this map. You just need to have like a similar type of, uh, like you just need to be somewhat safe. Like yes, if you have a cabin ghost and you are like up against uh, some speed ghost, like a Revenant or a Moroi, like try to break line of sight uh, or try to keep your sanity high so that you don't <laughs> get fucking murdered. But even still, like let's say that we are dealing- Oh, you can't unlock this because it's hunting. 
Oh no, there you go, because I didn't have the key. Uh, even still, let's say that this was, or that this, um, uh, this was a like revenant or something. You can turn off your flashlight here and then break a line of sight using this wall right here. Like just hug this wall, which will immediately lead you to this. Like this, this, you now want to hug this wall and just go around like this, go here. And then let's think, if you're being like chased by the ghost, where would you want to go in this scenario? Like you could hide there, obviously, but I think that would probably get you killed. Uh, let's think. So if you went this way, you could break line of sight here again and then here again, but you're probably not going to survive that without a sprint. But I feel like this is even worse here. You're going way more into the open so i feel like you should probably go this way but a cabin is by far the most dangerous area i think it's way more dangerous than the middle area because once you reach this zone of the map you are like incredibly safe because you can just keep breaking line of sight it still has some of the like uh some of the old potential like th there's lots of long areas where you have to like this is a safety zone, right? You have lots of areas to break line of sight here. And then this is all just desert, like nothing here. You have to run all the way over here before you're back into a safety zone where you can keep breaking line of sight back to back to back. Um, so there's still some areas like that, which is just going to take a while to get used to. And it's going to really depend on your ghost room. But anyway, that is... Can you go fuck yourself? You're going to stop hunting, right? I hope so, at least. Otherwise, I'm going to die. All right, fuck me. <laughs> no! Stop it, ghost. You're not fast enough. You're not gonna get me. Can we still use this as break, break the line of sight as well? Probably not very reliable right now. But anyway, I think that's pretty much everything you need to know about Maple Lodge. Uh, let me know in the comments down below once again. Um, I don't know what this ghost is. I'm gonna say this was a... What was it? I don't think it was a poltergeist. It's just gonna be a Goria. <laughs> Gotta be a fucking Goryeo just doing nothing. Um, let me know if you th like this version better than the old version. I think I do. I think I do. I like that there's more... It was just a spirit. Literally, if I didn't touch the fucking book at all, I would have won. I literally, by playing the game, I got it wrong. <laughs> if I literally just guessed and left, it would have been fine. But anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching over on YouTube. Let me know if there's any secret I missed. I don't think so. Be pretty, we did it pretty thoroughly. But if there is anything, I would love to hear. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely games here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv. The link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Alrighty. Let's go. So now, I want to do a dedicated video to point hope i want to start with tanglewood and show the secret riddle then we go to maple lodge because the tanglewood riddle leads you to maple lodge and we do some of the the riddle solving here which is uh really cool and it's something i've only ever done once <clears throat> but anyway let's go say oh what the fuck i all tabbed away from my here we go <clears throat> Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. The developers have left some very important Easter eggs in the game, which give us a basically 99% certainty that there is a new map coming to the game called Point Hope, and it is going to be a lighthouse map. Now, this is not certain, but there is some really, really, really solid evidence for this being the case. Starting off with this right here. We're going to be showing you some of the riddle that goes on in the lobby right here, as well as a new secret, which has made this even more concrete, that is on the new Maple Lodge map. So we're going to start on Tanglewood, discover some of the secrets, what's going on in the lobby right here, and we're just going to talk about the new map, what it could look like, as well as potential other maps we'd like to see. But anyway, it's going to be fun. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. All right, let's start on Tanglewood because we got a secret over here. We're just going to be playing regular Nightmare, I think. Uh, maybe Nightmare with the screens would be better. Maybe we should do... I kind of want to do the screens. I kind of want to do Nightmare with the screens. This is just slightly more fun. I, I don't like not having the screens. Let's do custom nightmare greens. Boom, boom. Weather must be correct, yes, but not on Tanglewood. Tanglewood is one of the only ones that doesn't have a weather requirement. <clears throat> All 
Alrighty. Uh, well, we... We could... I think professional is just too easy, maybe. I mean, we could do... I think we'll just stick to this. Alright, we got Gregory Brooks here. So, we're playing Nightmare Mode. I just turned on the screens because I like having the screens and I didn't want to deal with not having the screens. You might have seen some of these riddles by accident and you may have like ignored them or not paid attention to them or you were like me and you immediately tried to solve the whole thing if you go on tanglewood there's two ways you could have found uh, a big secret about the new map you could have either literally just walked into the basement with a uv light and seen this right here no matter the weather the weather there will be this in the corner what does it mean there's a symbol, if you remember, this is one of the symbols we saw in the lobby, and there is an equals I. So this symbol stands for I, which is going to be very important. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. We're going to be not, we're not going to go through the whole riddle necessarily, but I'll show you uh, some of the coolest points in the riddle, because there's some really cool, uh, uh, cool riddles out there. Like some of them are harder, some of them are easy. Or you could have either done that, literally stumbled upon one of the symbols, or... This one is way harder to find. You could have opened this door and seen this right here. Emerging from a watery grave, a quiet spot to watch the sunrise. So this is um, one of the riddles. The other riddle that is really easy to see is on Willow. That's the one I actually found first on Willow in the boy's bedroom, or I think the master bedroom. On the whiteboard, there is like this really obvious riddle, which we will probably be going to as well. Uh, but yeah, emerging from a watery grave. What does that mean? That, that refers to the water that is on Maple Lodge, a quiet spot to watch the sunrise. So what's really cool about these riddles is that you actually have to have the specific weather as well to make the symbols appear. Now on, on Tanglewood, it's unique. Uh, you can find the riddle that leads to Tanglewood on Edgefield. Uh, this one doesn't have a weather requirement. But anyway, we're still gonna go a little crazy here and try to figure out the ghost. I kind of want to just immediately trigger a hunt. Let's uh, wish for sanity. Yeah. I wish for sanity because I still want to play the game. I definitely want to play a game on the new Maple Lodge as well. Let's see if we get a, <laughs> a, a Moroi or something. Come on, hunt me. Ghosty pants. I don't have a smudge stick, which is kind of dangerous, but we'll be fine, right? But my sanity will be draining. No, I don't think so. I think I have to be in the shadows here. Or you, I could just have this light off and the... Uh, it's already hunting? Okay, normal speed. Hello, buddy. You're running out there. Normal and normal blinking as well. No Oni, no Phantom. It's... I need to test if it speeds up, but I don't want to do that here because that's kind of dangerous. We didn't trigger Cursed Hunt, so this is not going to be too much of a... Not gonna be too dangerous. We are just playing Nightmare Mode. We can also collect some evidence here. Let's see if it speeds up. It definitely speeds up. Okay. Please stop it. Okay, this is fine. Uh, let's grab some evidence items. So what you need to keep in mind if you use the monkey paw, by the way. Did it throw the monkey paw? Uh, is that if you wish for sanity, it will uh, also change the ghost room. So you might be hunted from a different spot suddenly. But you gotta be careful. Let's grab the... Prefer to loop rather than hide. On certain maps, yes. Like Tanglewood, for sure. Tanglewood is so much easier to loop than to hide. And that's mostly because you can't... Um, you don't know which hiding spots are blocked unless you check it, right? Unless you go and make a round through the map, which I don't do usually because I'm lazy. I don't know. This is going to be hunting here. I might die. <clears throat> See? You grab this, I forgot about that. We... This, this, this. There's some freaking, like, giant... What is that? Fuck. Giant insect on my light. Hopefully he's not gonna attack me. Gag is gag, thank you for that too. <laughs> Can we do ghost gambling? Nope. We gotta go into rehab. Okay, so it should be one of these rooms. Now, we have almost all of the tier 3 items as well. We have the night vision, which I love, but it's also kind of scary to use because the ghost uh, can detect it during a hunt. I think it is here. Let's see. Where is my... Uh, where are the orbs? Any orbs? Oh, God, it's time for hunting. What the fuck? 
they changed the sound of the hunts, man. So I saw a conversation going on about this and I noticed it as well, but I didn't know how to put my finger on it. Basically what they've done is they have made the sound fade in over time and fade out over time, which means that if you literally have the ghost right next to you, you won't hear the sounds of the ghost until it's like already hunt or, or, or until it's already started its hunt which means that if you have a short grace period you might literally explode without anything you can do about it which is kind of ridiculous like i feel like <laughs> i feel like i mean as as immersive as it might be it makes the ghost hunts a little bullshit sometimes but i don't know uh it will, we'll have to play with it a little longer okay so it's obviously here that is an airball ghost event let's place the books in there come on give me Give me some evidence, please, sir. We have no Orbeez, so no Mimic or anything. Let's use this. Where are you? Are you here? You see that? Like, it sounds so far away when it's right next to you. That's insane. Hello, buddy. That's kind of cool. What an insane round. I love the, the EMF dance right here. It's a disco. Is this a poltergeist? Threw around so many things there for a second. I'm gonna turn off the EMF. This shit is annoying. You can stop now. Thank you. Okay, turn off the EMF. Uh, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Why isn't it? Oh, there we go. Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Where are you? Are you here? It could literally just be a Gorio. I think it... I mean, it's it's getting colder and colder. I think this is... Oh, it's knocking on the window. Evidence? No thingy. I think we got a really shitty ghost here. Uh, I need to fucking go to the bathroom. I'm sorry. One second. <laughs> Oh, baby. Oh, I am free. All right. What the hell was that? Hype? I'm so confused by the hype chats. Why are people use? Are people coming from YouTube and using hype chats in Twitch chat? Because I haven't seen any hype chats for so long. But thank you, Salyro, for the $12 hype chat. <laughs> spotted and what the hell happened with the gift subs 
Just me sneezing. You hear a weird sound. Orangino with the tier 319. Levan with the two. Uh, Shaofu with the with the hype chat as well. Thank you. All right, anyway, let's uh, run that back because that ghost was going to be literally a Gorio and I didn't want to have to deal with that shit and I needed to fucking piss. All right, we're going to play professional. Let's run it back. <clears throat> ghost scared me so much I had to pee. Alrighty, look at the thing. It's hitting the corner right off the bat. Alright, never mind. Uh, we are up against Paul Brown. Uh, we're gonna just play some normal games because we just unlocked all the tier 3 items. We don't have the tier 3 crucifix yet, uh, but I think we need 5 more levels or 4 more levels before we get that. Uh, and then we're gonna have to prestige very soon again and lose all of these wonderful items. Can I please play? Thank you. Uh, which is gonna be a shame, but we'll do it. Obviously, we're prestige three right now We are probably behind on most people that have been grinding a little more efficient now What if you have been playing this game for a while? I don't remember exactly when this got added But it's been in the game for a really really long time at this point You might have randomly seen in some maps here and there These little riddles on the wall such as this one right here uh, It's very hidden a lot of them are very hidden. Uh, we have emerging from a watery grave, a quiet spot to watch the sunrise. On like six or seven different maps, there are riddles like this uh, that you can find. And if you solve this riddle, which in this case, what is it? What is it saying here? Emerging from a watery grave, which seems to refer to some kind of body of water, which really the only body, body of water we have is the Maple Lodge Lake, a quiet spot to watch the sunrise so it's not just referring to the water it's also referring to the sunrise so if we go to maple lodge later which we will be doing after we finish this game here but there's another secret on this map as well that i'll show you in a moment um you will uh be potentially finding a special secret that has been in the game as i said for a while is it gonna be in this room i think it is let's just quickly grab all the items i need a uv light so i can show you the thing the other thing what the hell raid Welcome Raiders. Happy Halloween Raid. Happy Halloween to you all. I hope you're having a wonderful evening or a wonderful Halloween. We don't really celebrate Halloween where I live, but it doesn't mean I can't wish you all a happy Halloween. Uh, so I hope you're having a wonderful... I'm orange. I, I have pulled out my orange sweater. It's the first time I've worn it literally since like half a year. Special occasion. Surprised more people aren't playing horror. I mean, I always play horror. So for me, every day is Halloween. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, were you ever pumpkin spice? Why is orange the color of Halloween? Is it literally just because the pumpkins? <laughs> is that the reason? <laughs> or what now? How warm is it there? It's fairly warm. It's like, I mean, warm in my room, I guess. Not necessarily warm in the 25 degrees. It's not very hot. It's doable. Not really sweater weather, you would say, but I got I gotta sacrifice myself for the sweaters. Okay, uh, it's cold in this room, so it's probably what the hell was that? Probably here. So we have a uh, where's my glow stick? There it is. Uh, if you've been walking around with a glow stick, this one is actually the only one you can find relatively easily. If you've checked for fingerprints in Tanglewood, you may have accidentally stumbled upon this thing right here. This symbol in the corner uh, is the same symbol that we've seen in the lobby, and it says equals I, which, if you're starting to catch on, we're going to be spelling some kind of word here, which may or may not be related to the Neo map. Spoiler, it definitely is. There's no way they will put all of that in the game. Um, it's it, it also not just is it like would it be ridiculous if they just trolled us with this whole riddle we get writing right there Thank you so much. We have already seen this before if you are an OG of phasmo and you have played uh, I should turn on the breaker uh, You have played since the old asylum map You know that there used to be a secret on the old asylum map in one of the rooms that referred to sunny meadows the new asylum So it seems like the developers like putting secrets in the map and before that there was a secret on the truck uh, dude, you're just riding like crazy. There was a secret in the truck which referred to the Maple Lodge campsite map. So they've pretty much hidden references to every future map in the game. Like, every time since CJ joined the team, I think. I think CJ likes doing these type of secrets. Uh, let's quickly see if we can get some sphere box. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? 
Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Searching the door, we can get pingies. That obviously does not count as UV evidence, by the way. We're playing on professional, just so we can test all the items. So we can rule out UV, I guess. Uh, can we rule out orbs? The ghost is pizza. We have orbs. Okay, so we have a mare, revenant, or thay. All right, this is going to be the easiest game of my life. Let's quickly grab uh, a... Well, it could be... It could be a mimic turned into an obake and then touching the door and hiding the fingerprints but i'm gonna risk my chances for that because that is extremely rare <laughs> let's just quickly grab the smudge imagine banana thank you for the prime we'll just grab this thing and the photo cam because i want the ghost photo do we need to do anything firelight ghost event crucifix had a mimic once do the obake handprint. I've had that too. But like a mimic hiding the fingerprints because of obake. I mean, it's happened to me, but it's very rare. Hello there. I got the fancy tier three uh, incense for you. And we're going to take a ghost photo as well, hopefully. And we'll definitely hear it if it's a revenant. Oh, no. No! Oh, my God. You fucking piece of shit. YOU PIECE OF SHIT! <laughs> Alright, well, I think we are- I, I actually don't know if we're dealing with a Revenant or a Thay. They were just fucking fast as hell. So what happened there, which is, uh, one of the- the annoying parts with the summoning circle, which is that if you're i I'm assuming it was a Thay. It sounded extremely fast, but it might have just also been a Revenant. It was a Revenant. I- there's just no way to tell, uh, if you can't break line of sight with the Revenant. Um, so, if you're lighting the summoning circle, while you're lighting the summoning circle, the ghost can start a hunt. If you then continue lighting the summoning circle, it will teleport the hunt that- or the ghost that's already hunting on top of you, which will then immediately kill you. Well, it wouldn't, wouldn't kill you if it wasn't a revenant, but yeah, very unlucky there. Anyway, we saw the secret emerging from a watery grave, uh, a quiet spot to rise the sunset. We think it refers to Maple Lodge. Let's go pay, pay a visit to Maple Lodge because there's actually several secrets on Maple Lodge that are referring to this new map. If I could fucking play the... Okay. Dude, my Phasmo is actually so broken today. It's extremely annoying. Ah, oh, damn. It's Strephium. Thank you for the six. Ever find a French ghost? No, but we're still on a quest to do so. The rev exploded the game. I hope restarting the game maybe fixed the fucking memory leak or something that's going on. I don't know why it's freezing so much. It's literally like every single load in and load out. It's just freezing for like a solid 15 seconds. Extremely annoying. Okay. So this symbol right here, look at this. Uh, this one right here, we got five symbols on this side, uh, four symbols on this side. This one is referring, or is an I, right? We saw it on Tanglewood. Let's see the other symbol. Uh, this one we saw attached to the puzzle or the riddle that was on Tanglewood. Let's go see what that letter stands for or a symbol. We'll go to Maple Lodge, bada bing, bada boom. Hope we don't get screwed over here. That was insane. The freezing happens. Is there a fix? There's no fix. There, the, the devs need to fix it at some point, but I don't know if they'll ever will. Alrighty, we got Jane Holland. Uh, this is the new the Maple Lodge map, by the way, if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, this is, I think, the only map with a significant body of what? Oh, I fucking. Is it? I think this is actually the right weather, but I should have set the weather to be sunrise. Uh, no, it's not sunrise. Never mind. We need to set it. Uh, Nikki, thank you for the five. Thank you guys for all the fucking gift subs. You guys are going insane. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, let me... We need to custom mode this. Custom. And then no 11 times, please. We need to have sunrise. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Sunrise, Maple Lodge. I kind of want to have a mirror, too. I'm, I'm a greedy bitch. I want to find the ghost room fast, so I'm just gonna, like fuck up my rewards to get a mirror whatever i don't care <clears throat> everyone just received their paycheck 
All right, we got Georgia Wilson. Uh, so this right here, we, we actually had to change the, the, the weather with the custom difficulty, by the way, because you need to have, as the riddle said, you need to have the sunrise weather. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Which, this is why you probably haven't seen any of the symbols if you haven't actively been solving these riddles. The only one you can see without setting a specific weather is the one on Tanglewood, which is why I wanted to start there. Uh, but any other symbol... Uh, you have to both bring a UV to a weird room as well as be there luckily on the right weather or you use the custom difficulty. I really like how they've done this riddle. Now, in the reception building right here, we already knew that there was going to be something, uh, some new map coming with the name Point Hope. However, because of the new Maple Lodge, we are like 100% certain I... Unless they're absolutely pulling our pizzle and trolling us, there is no way that both the lobby riddle gives you the answer Point Hope, and then there's also a reference to Point Hope Lighthouse in the new Maple Lodge that they must be like almost done with this, I feel to a certain degree, because why would they put it? it it's so on the nose. It's so obvious that there's going to be a new map called Point Hope Lighthouse. Uh, it has to be like coming relatively soon i would assume like th this is not something you would do like the riddle is something i could see them do when they uh like are like when it's far in the future and they just, just want to make this map they're probably gonna do it i mean i feel like at that point you're already probably fairly sure that you're gonna do it uh but literally then doubling down on it with the map and this as well by the way look at this right here we have a literal lighthouse in the po place where it says on the map that there should be a point hope lighthouse uh and we got this right here so because we are uh with the right weather which is the sunrise weather at the watery grave which is maybe referring to the jason mask here i don't know uh we can see that the other letter which is the o which um I think it's actually going to be in the word twice because it's point hope after all. Now, uh, we also, I think we have the mirror. So we're going to quickly grab that and find the ghost room because I want to play on this beautiful map, of course. We're not just going to skip a, skip a Maple Lodge game. Will this be on YouTube? Yes, of course. <clears throat> but, uh, do we have the breaker? We don't. Vanessa, I think you have the five gift subs. I don't know. Oh, there's this is another breaker spot. Okay, so it can also spawn here. I didn't know that. Uh, let's see. We have indeed the mirror. Where's the ghost gonna be? It's gonna be in one of the tents. Which one specifically? I'm waiting for it to rotate. Okay, that didn't really help me much. Yeah, I don't know which tent that is, but it's definitely a tent. Uh oh, well, it's over there. <laughs> it's normal speed. So it's going to be around the campfire. I've been wanting to get a campfire ghost for a while now because the campfire used to be the hardest area on this map to survive. And I wonder if that's still the case. Probably not. The map has become so much easier. Not only if they added a ton of new hiding spots such as this right here, but adding all these line of sight blockers to the map just allows you to get away from the ghost so much easier. Like, look at this hallway. There's, like, a box right there, a box right here. You can go, go around the corner, just... Hello. It's not a gin. That was normal speed. I'm gonna turn on my flashlight just to not die. Also, didn't look like a phantom, I think. So it seemed like normal blinking. Actually, might have been only blinking. It looked pretty frequent there. Hello, ghost. Are you EMF4 in this tent? So I'm assuming this is going to be your ghost room. Any fingerprints? No, I'm going to book an... Okay, well, definitely not an Oni. Okay, I'm going to run the hell out of here. Could you still break line of sight using the, the fire? Probably. I don't see why they would change that unless they hate us because the fire is amazing. We are very low sanity, but whatever. We'll be okay. There's a memory leak in this game. I mean, I have a, an issue where my game freezes a lot, which might just be uh, my my computer having a tantrum or something. I don't know, but my computer is pretty strong, so I don't really see that being the case. And I know a lot of other people have the same issue. That should give me enough sanity. It does. Okay, so now, unless it's a demon, we're not going to get hunted again, which is nice. That, um, 
That will be easy though if it ends up hunting now because then we know. Are you in here? I don't think you are. I think you're in this one. It's, it was really hard to see because all I saw was just a tent. I can't turn off this fire, but I can't turn off this light. I want to see orbs. There are orbs, so we know this is the ghost room. Alrighty. Orbies acquired. Could be Mimic. Could be freezing. Where are you? Are you here? Right here. You are right here. Dude, the, the tier 3 items are so insane. Uh, Yokai, I don't see it. So for Unreal, be freezing. Mare will be ghost orbs. Okay, so it's not going to be either of these. So it's going to be all of this. So quickly grab the dots and the writing here. Gorio is very hard, yeah. Gorio is, like, probably the hardest ghost in the game, honestly. Like, not in terms of, like, dying, but in terms of getting it correct, I would say. Because it's so fucking annoying. Because getting the Gorio dots is extremely unreliable. Can Mimic do UV? Yes. But, I mean, it could be. If it's Mimic does UV. Can't change Ghost Room. That's the only thing that's nice about it, yeah. Oh, I heard EMF. Okay, let's place this double writing book here. Hopefully, you're not going to start roaming. Uh, let's see. Are you still here? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? From you are... Where are you? From behind. On... Behind? Okay, so it is definitely in this room. Because if I would were to step outside of the room, it doesn't work. Where are you? Right? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? And as soon as I walk in, it immediately starts going crazy. Okay, the orb's still here, I'm assuming. Um, could be to, or Mimic if it does freezing as well as fingerprints. It's not showing freezing very much. So let's think. Uh, we're playing professional, so we could get the last evidence. But I kind of want to test for uh, just these ghosts here. If we get a crucifix and a candle, we can do an on Rio check. And then we just have to use the mirror a few times to put ourselves in hunting range. And we can do a yokai test during the hunt. Which you... Uh, hello? You having a good time over here? Where even are you? I think it's standing right here. It's just invisible. Because of the shadow model. I'm gonna get out of here. The fuck? There's no difference between watching or on YouTube or Twitch. Just do whatever you want. Okay, we grab this guy, this guy, and a crucifix. Our sanity is 50, so yeah. You hate Dio's? I love Dio. Go there. Dude, look at the glow. Okay, so we have, we need to set this up fast because we are going to be hunted soon. We have the crucifix as well as the the firelight which means that if it was to be an on rio it couldn't use the crucifix without also blowing out the candle uh it is not getting any colder though that's the first blowout if it blows it out three times and then instantly hunt we also kind of know it's an on rio and you give us a sign i kind of want to loop it around the campfire here i'm gonna turn on this light just the te oh come on it turn off the brakey you piece of shit well i mean Mare is an option. Not that mares are necessarily more likely to turn off the breaker. I've just been getting a lot of mares recently that have turned off the breaker like non-stop like they're hauntus. But according to the the developers, the mare does not actually turn off the breaker more than other ghosts. It just feels that way sometimes, but that might just be confirmation bias. Because I've had some really annoying spirits as well that have just turned off the breaker non-stop, right? So there's just not much... You, you don't know for sure. Okay, you're not... Doing fingies, which would be mimic shenanigans. Getting closer. That was a big ass throw. It blow it out, blown it out for a second time. So now, if it blows it out a third time and then instantly hunt, we can probably say it's an on Rio. Come on, do it. Can you give us a sign? Can you show yourself? You're out there. It's making me kind of nervous because if you hunt from there, I'm gonna be very screwed. Oh, God. Here we go. Let's try the campfire. 
it's working? I don't think it's working! Uh, it's getting faster. It shouldn't be getting faster. Okay, well, let this be a lesson for you, children! Do not use the campfire! <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that's probably an on Rio because it, like, left the fire. All right, this is, uh... <laughs> I died for your sins. Yeah, so I was told. Did they just completely nerf? Because I tried the campfire before as well, and it also didn't work. Maybe they just full on. Oh, come on! Dude, this game is. How the game makes you feel like a noob sometimes? Jesus Christ. I got absolutely fucking rolled there. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> we got the next uh, letter here, which is. Let's grab this. So the first one is this one right here, the I. Uh, which is part of this. We also have an O right there. So I and O for this first circle. And there's also an O in this one, uh, because point, hope, right? Now I want to show you my favorite one, which is the couple between... This was the actually one of the hardest ones for me personally to find as... Not necessarily to solve, but it was the coolest. We're gonna just run it on normal professional now. Uh, because it doesn't matter since we're not gonna find a letter here. We're only gonna find a riddle on Blee still, which this one is really tricky. Um, even with literally CJ sitting in my chat telling me where it was, it still took me like a solid five minutes to find this one. Uh, I felt like a complete dumbass, which is very fitting after I just died twice like a dumbass. Uh, well, thank you for the breaker at least. So the way the... This riddle, I, I can better just show you, because what CJ said, it's it's on the stairs on to the attic, which I was like, all right, let me check on the stairs to the attic. No, it's fucking over here. It's like hiding in plain sight. Look at this. In light rain and snow, I never rest. Defending fruit from my foes above, bring me a light that keeps me warm. This is actually the most, this is why I wanted to show you this one, because this is one of the most unique riddles out of all of them. This one, does not require or you you cannot get it by using a uv light you have to bring me a light that keeps me warm which is obviously a candle so in light rain and snow so either works light rain or snow i never rest defending fruit from my foes above bring me a light that keeps me warm which is obviously gonna be a scarecrow, which we'll be seeing in a moment here. I'm gonna take this bone. I either heard him up in the attic. Is this just gonna be a set of rounds where it's just gonna give me like the... Yeah, there you are. Hi. It's just gonna give me crazy ghost after crazy ghost after crazy ghost. We'll see. How do you find this stuff? By playing the game a lot. Well, by noticing differences like because we used to play on the like when you when the game first came out this obviously wasn't here so then i used i i think i spotted the one on willow first and i was like well no you spotted the things in the in the lobby first right so you were like what are these symbols this must mean something and then i remember seeing the one on willow and being like holy shit this is a riddle we need to solve these and from one thing came another hey fx what's up you have eight shrines left in Tears of the Kingdom. I I played like 10 hours of Tears of the Kingdom and then I just stopped. Not a bad game by any means, but I just, I was just too much, too much shit. Happy Halloween to you too, Snake. What is my brightness setup? 1.8, 1.8 brightness. I should really be putting on the head cam more often. Dude, that is so fucked up. You can't loop around the campfire anymore. Not that you have to, but that's a shame. I put this on, grab this last stuff. Crucifix, incense, motion sensor. It's fine. We'll just get the evidence. With the orange sweater. Yes, it was on purpose. I had to dust it off and get it from my winter closet. Oh boy. <clears> Hi <throat> hey there. Uh, you have water coming out of your sink. There's a leak. I want, I love how I love how this this was a bug. They fixed it. This happens so often in Phasmo to the point where I feel like I'm like the game or the developers are actively trying to fucking gaslight all the players. This was a bug, then it was fixed. 
and now it's back. And this like the same thing with the taking the photo of the ghost after the book was full. They said they fixed it. They didn't fix it. Then they fixed it. Then they broke it again. And then they fixed it again. So it's like fucking they do this all the time. Same thing with the crucifix right now, where this was in the game from the what the fuck, lady? From the very beginning, when the the ghost used the crucifix, it would turn off all the lights. Then they fixed that, and it was fixed for two years straight. It was we were in living in Wonderland. Oh, how young and innocent were we? Uh, and now suddenly it's back, and it's been back for like fucking four months at this point, and they for some reason haven't fixed it. Like, how is this possible? It's making like I almost feel like I'm insane. Like, was it ever fixed? Has it just been broken this whole time? I don't know. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Okay, we got orbs. Let's go. Where are you? My blood anyway. pressure is rising. Dude, what the fuck is going on with these ghost orbs and... Ghost orbs and spirit box every game. Where are you? Are you here? Okay, so we have the same exact thing, which means it's going to be another mimic. Is that what's going to happen here? Or is it now actually going to be a fucking on Rio or what now? Going to be another mimic here. Can you give me a sign? It's throwing stuff in the other room. It's not going to be EMF, so that's for sure. It's not going to be... Well, it can't be ghost, right? Okay, let's quickly grab... Uh, yeah, I guess we, we just mostly need the... It was, a, was it a summoning circle? What was the cursed possession? Don't be not a summoning circle. I'm going to fucking die. It's not a summoning circle. You thought you saw dots? You gave us a sign. Come on, touch the windows. So in this case, you would think... Oh, it's throwing around. You would think that the tier 2 and tier 3 thermos would be better. Ah, wrong. The reason we're not seeing uh, freezing right now is not... Well, there's the dots indeed. Uh, what the fuck? It's just standing still. The reason we're not or we're not seeing freezing right now, if there was freezing, obviously there's fucking dots, and this time it is a yokai, um, is not because the freezing... Like, it's not fast enough to show you the freezing. It's because there's physically no freezing because it takes a while for the temperature to drop. So a lot of people are like, well, I I use the tier three or tier two thermo because it'll show me the temperature right away. No, it doesn't. It's still rely, relying on the temperature actually going down by itself. All right, we actually beat a fucking game. Can you believe it? Played the game for two and a half thousand hours. Died twice in a row on professional, like an absolute amateur. Uh, let's go to the answer of the riddle. Which, as I said, is my favorite answer. Uh, we There's also a Scarecrow over here, by the way, but this one doesn't work. Uh, I, I'm assuming it doesn't work. I know the one on Grafton works. Um, but we're going to hop over to Grafton and show you a special secret. We do indeed have a yokai. Still 700, man. You get so much money now for even the, the shortest of games. We're going to go into Grafton. Uh, we need to set the weather, right? This is very important. This is why it's hard to find this by accident and you actually have to actively solve the riddles uh in light rain and snow i defend from fo foes or the fruit from foes above or whatever the fuck the riddle was so light rain and snow i'm gonna do snow um you could also does it work with wait whoa 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 i have to try this if you set it to heavy rain and then you use the monkey paw Will that actually soul? Will you be able to see it? I have to try this. This is this is turbo science. Uh, so we're just gonna do a regular game. We're, we're setting it to heavy rain right now because I just want to see if this actually works. <laughs> that would be cool. All right, we got Mary Miller. So right now it is not light rain; it is heavy rain. So if we were to try and solve the riddle, it wouldn't work. However, so let's, let's, let's confirm that, first of all, uh, that it doesn't work. Which, by the way, isn't this the only candle that is, like, light-proof? So you can still hold it out in the rain? The other ones will go out if you hold it in heavy rain. Uh, so if you go over back here, which I didn't know this. I mean, apparently pumpkins are fruits. I. It's one of those things where you're like, what the fuck? Sure, I guess it's semantics. Uh, over here... If you hold the light, you should see a secret, but we don't because it's the wrong weather. So now we're going to grab the monkey paw and see if we can fix this. ECTV fucked up. No, it's fine for me. Let's see. 
I want to just be there when we do it. We can't use it outside though, right? So we have to. Oh fuck. Walk over here. Waterproof. That is super cool. <clears throat> Got them mosquito thingy. Alrighty, so let's see. I wish for snow. Which changes the weather, but does that also dynamically fix the the riddle here is the real question. That this would be impressive. Nope. <laughs> nope. It does not work. Unless unless it wait a minute. Maybe it doesn't work with a tier three candle. Maybe it just doesn't work in general. It feels bad, man. It feels spaghetti code, man. Alright, we're gonna have to quickly run that back. <laughs> Lol. Unless it was on Bleed still, but I'm pretty sure it was on Grafton. <laughs> Unless it doesn't work with the tier three uh, candle, which would be very silly. Maybe. Uh, we said it's a light rain or snow, right? So let's set it to snow. No monkey paw required this time. Just a random one. I love how much that costs you. God damn. It costs you like all your modifier just setting it to monkey paw. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Uh, Grafton. We can't really take multiple light sources, so let's just try this. Your little your CCTV goes all the way off the screen. That is strange. We've arrived. For me, it's just fine. All right, let's see if this works, or if we get something is wrong. Is this? I could see this break because this was back when there was only one candle, right? So maybe it only works for the tier one or they literally just forgot about the riddle and didn't fix it <laughs> see. all right so now we have default snow will this work now i think what happened here is that they so when this riddle got added there was only one candle there was no tier three candle yet i think they might have actually fucked it up i think they broke the riddle because it only works with the candle that we don't have anymore but what we can try at least is try it with a tier one or tier two candle to see if we can fix it but otherwise <laughs> lol <laughs> what the fuck this is this is classic <laughs> classic phasmo right here i mean to be fair this is a pretty niche thing right so it's not like this is game breaking or something but <laughs> it is still annoying we'll try tier two first all right, let's just try tier one first because if it doesn't work with tier one then i don't see this working at all but we need to change the oh no this is fine right god damn uh fire light yes are there candles yeah but you can't pick up the candles anymore that are in maps so they move they right, removed yeah. that feature because uh they didn't want to make them because the candles that are on the maps are infinite so they don't want to give you the ability to move them around. <clears throat> and the refund two and a half thousand after two and a half thousand hours. I think I should just walk through the map. This better fucking work or I'm gonna become the Joker. See? Come on. All right, come on. This has to work, right? There we go. <laughs> okay, so it just doesn't work with a tier three candle. Are you fucking kidding me? That is so silly. So you can probably fix it with the... You can probably use the monkey ball to change the weather to what you need. Uh, but yeah, this is my favorite one because it actually requires you to think and use a different... Like, not the UV light. All of the other ones, you use the UV light. For this one, you have to use a candle. So that one right there is the n i'm gonna take a screenshot again uh, very silly uh, i didn't try the tier two candles maybe that one works too uh maybe it's literally just the tier three that's broken i don't know why though because it's all a candle right maybe maybe there's something strange going on but regardless let's quickly grab our evidence or our items and find the ghost room or the ghost will just find us instead so i'm assuming it's here but it's definitely not an oni that's for sure 
Lol. Try the lighter. Oh, that's, uh, maybe. We could try the lighter. I want to see that. Good question. Maybe because the tier 3... Uh, I don't know. The range... Why would the range be worse? It's the fucking tier 3 version. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's, it's doing rocky chair over there. That's a big spaghetti code. Fair, fair. That's pretty fair. I've done prison on insanity mode. I've done prison, like, max difficulty at some point. I've done everything. Could be hard coded to the asset ID, potentially. Like, that's why I did the tier one, because I feel like the tier one is probably the default. What the default used to be. <clears throat> Oreo cannot change room, no. Unless you use the monkey paw, then yes. Grab this, 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 and we good. The Mimo. Alrighty, buddy. Uh, I think it's over there, because I heard the rocking chair. I'm actually curious. Someone in chat said this, uh, and I think it's an interesting idea. Does the lighter work? I don't think the lighter used to work, so it probably doesn't. But we have to try. We are science gang after all. And you, because it's also a light that keeps you warm. Right? It does! Holy shit! <laughs> Look at that! So you can't actually just use the lighter instead. So it's just the tier three candle that's broken. Everything else works. Maybe the match is to, I don't know. I'm not gonna try every single fucking light source on this thing. Because we already know it works. So as long as it's an open flame, it works. So probably because it is like this, the flame has like a specific shader. And when that shader gets pointed at the scarecrow, it does the thing. And the lantern probably has a different type of light, which is why it doesn't work. And they didn't fix it because it doesn't matter much because it's like a fucking Easter egg uh, that they didn't bug fix. <laughs> Which is fine, but it was funny. Alrighty, I have for you writing books. I have for you, uh, or you have for me Orbeez. You don't have for me Orbeez. How disappointing. Unless it's not here. It is seemingly cold in there. I mean, I didn't turn on the breaker, right? Let's check if it's here. The break, dude, amazing. Let's go, lucky. It's gonna be Revenant and it hunts. That would be a disaster. All right, buddy. And for you, another dots, double dots all across the sky. Give me spirit box again. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Uh, unless it's like a wraith or something and it just tell, oh no, it's definitely here. It's not gonna be freezing though. But it threw something right there. Let's check for EMF. So, or maybe it's kitchen. Where does it point to work? Oh, this cup <laughs> right there. Okay. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Oh no, it's gonna be a Gorio. There's no freezing. So we can rule out freezing probably. We can rule out spare box. Um, we can rule out ghost orbs. It's literally just a Gorio. Unless it's a Myling. And you give us a sign. It's going to give us Gorio dots in three, two, one. Oh my God. I actually thought it gave the dots there for a second. Uh, what is our cursed possession? Let me guess. It's going to be a Gorio and it's going to, it's not freezing because there's no, uh, unless it's delayed, but I don't think so. So for Gorio, we'd see UV EMF5, though. Maybe EMF5 here. At least give me something. Come on. Give me freaking something. You piece of garbage. Let me just use the Cursed Possession. What's the... Yeah, yeah, we have... Uh, we're playing Professional right now. What the fuck was that? Multiple throws at the same time. It's not... There's the EMF5, obviously. So that's step number one for both ghosts. You need to find the Cursed Possession, though. Is it gonna be monkey? 
Monkey, monkey, monkey. It is monkey paw. Okay. We can try now. I wish it was heavy rain. Now we can try retroactively. If this would have... Oh, no. Never mind. Because now I can't have my light outside. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> I picked the one weather for it. It just does not work. Okay, whatever. Let's just trigger a fucking hunt. Uh, I don't want to wish to see the ghost, though, because then I'm just going to die. Um, that's a bad idea. I get trolled by myself. I guess I could wish to see the ghost, but it doesn't drain my sanity. But if I wish for wish for sanity, then the Gorio is just going to fucking roam out of here. Just show me the Gorio dots already. It's obviously a Gorio. Unless smiling, in which case, what the fuck? Oh, it's hunting! Oh, uh, yep, it's definitely not a miling. What a surprise, it's a Gorio. I need to get you to... I need to get you to touch the door. Please follow me. This is stupid. What am I doing? I'm playing this like... I'm insane. And I don't really mind. Come over here! Hello, hello. Touch the door, please. Why didn't you touch the door? <laughs> you selected Myling? Yeah, I was trying to rule it out, but I was also trying to fucking stay alive while there was a crazy ghost attacking me. Okay, so it didn't touch the door. Uh, so we know it's EMF. That's all we have. We didn't see UV. We didn't see dots. It also walked past this door. Did it touch this? Oreo is no chill. All right, buddy. It would be writing if it is, um, if it is miling. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be writing in UV? Dude, why is Gorio Dot so fucking rare? It's like, I think it's still bugged. I think dots in general are just so stupid now. So annoying. Should turn on the lights. Oh, you turn off the breaker. Are you fucking kidding me? Peace. Come on. I can turn on the breaker, but it's gonna kill me. Oh, it's nothing. All right, come up here, buddy. All right, follow me. Follow me. We're going on a trip. A trip for for UV light. Hello? 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 Please? Ah! Please? Touch the door? Oh my god, it stopped! Such a simple request, dude. <laughs> fucking hell, man. All I'm trying to do is get fucking a single door touch. What does a man gotta do to get a door touch around here? Holy shit. All right, we'll turn on the fucking breaker so we can loop it here, I guess. Because obviously it's gonna have UV, right? Because then it will be... If it's UV, I think we know it's a Gorio. But then where the fuck are the Gorio dots? No one knows. I, I think it's a bug because dots are really, really, really unlikely to happen if you're not in the ghost room. But Gorio dots are impossible if you're in the ghost room. So it means that you have to be... Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a fucking ghost event, but I thought I was going to die. <laughs> um, but I think what happens with Gorio dots is that it gets... It's super, super rare because you're not in the ghost room, which makes ghost... Of, which makes the dots more... Or makes it uh, less common. But you have to be outside. So it's like really fucking annoying. Okay, come over here. Yeah, I could use salt, but I was I, I want to get a door touch. This is like such a simple, simple idea here. Come on. All right, here we go. That's the fucking door. There we go. See, that's this is why I wasn't getting the fucking salt, because it could have just been literally two seconds of the ghost touching the door and us getting UV, and it would have been way faster than getting the salt, but instead we've been dicking around for 10 minutes because this ghost fucking sucks. Okay, well, so... 
It's not Obake. I mean, it could be Obake, but it's it's not a Jin, right? We test for that. I'm just gonna leave with Goryeo. You're a fucking Goryeo. You can lick my ass. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Fuck the shit. <laughs> Should be able to wish for activity. Yeah, but that's gonna get me killed. The Legend of the Goryeo continues. Uh, so what is the map I want to go to next? I wanna. Maybe Willow. Oh boy. <laughs> there we go. I fucking knew it, you bitch. Okay. Goryeo's Rage Supreme in the uh, contest of being the most annoying piece of shit ghost in the entire game. I can't wait for them to fix Goryeo. Holy shit. All right. Now we are going to do the one, which is how I actually... No, obviously this right here. So what, what did we just get? We got this new symbol... Uh, this one was an N, right? So the new symbol right here. So we have I, O, N, OIN. And then here we only have the, the O, right? So now let's go to Willow, which is where for me personally, it all began. And we're going to go to Willow with the specific weather, which, because I think there is, isn't there one on Willow as well? I think there's one on Willow. Let me see. I need to look it up because I have it written down here. Willow. You need to have fog. Fog weather. Fog. That's going to be annoying, but whatever. It's just what it is. Um, there's two. Yeah, there's one puzzle and one. Wait, is there actually. Wait, is there two that lead to Willow? Wait, really? And I wrote it down wrong. Wait, let me see. Am I stupid? Oh, there's only... There's only one willow, right? There's one answer and one riddle. I think. Unless I unless I wrote it down wrong. But I'm just going to go with the one. Because otherwise we'd have to take... Uh, the, uh, the monkey paw. So we can change the weather. So we can have both at the same time. But I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Anyway. Run it. Run it back. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we're here on a specific... Wait, actually, this is not going to work. We need to have the tier 3 UV. <laughs> because otherwise we can't see the... Otherwise we can't see the... The specific uh, secret. Because it's outside. It's far away. Alright, Willow. Here we go. We have to change everything, dude. Hey, Pitson, what's up? Alrighty, we got Ted Holmes. Uh, we have changed a few things. First of all, it's fog weather because there's another riddle. There's one on Camp Woodwind, which uh, brings you here. And I think, let me read out the riddle. So if you go to Camp Woodwind, there is uh, peer out from a bedroom window onto a wall in fog above the re basement reveals all. Wait, what? Peer out from a bedroom window onto a wall in fog above the basement reveals all that is the uh that's the riddle this was actually one of the harder ones i remember uh and we're gonna be doing that immediately grab ourselves this thing right here as well as this uh this is why i changed the tier three um the tier three uv light because i don't think you can do this with the tier one but i'm not entirely sure uh outside of a what was it uh, from a bedroom window onto a wall. So that could be this one right here. Nope. Is it this one right here? Bedroom window. This? Forgot where it was exactly. Can I get on this? There. There it is! Look at that! This actually is like potentially the sneakiest one of all. Like how the fuck are you supposed to ever find this one? So this is why I brought the tier 3 because I I don't think we could have reached that with the tier 1. So that symbol right there is an H, which uh, we obviously didn't see the riddle for this one. So I forgive you for not having any idea what the fuck is going on. But this one in this room is how this all started for me. I was just playing Phasmo on one of the new updates and suddenly I see this whiteboard right here feed me black stones and the fire will grow in return i will heat this snow in hell and home so it's also immediately one of the harder ones 
Feed me black stones. So some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, oven or cauldron or something. Like something, uh, that requires coal. Um, and the fire will grow. In return, I will heat this snowed in Helen home. Which is, when I saw this for the first time, I didn't realize how important the snow was. But yeah, we have to go to a place with a, like either a fireplace or a boiler. Um, and do it in snow weather. Which we're going to be doing after this one. If you didn't already figure it out for yourself, you probably already did. Is there a ghost down here? Hello? Are you going to be another Gorio? You better not be. Any ghosts? Not a summoning circle, at least this time. Dude, what the fuck? How did how they butchered my boy, dude? I mean, the summoning circle always used to be that, like, annoying in that way. Where it can immediately trigger a hunt. But now it's just so hard to use. It's here. Hello. Got any fingies? I'm using the tier 3 UV. Can you believe this? What the fuck? Threw that straight at my face. All right, I'm going to grab all the other stuff. Fetcher, Fetcher, thank you for the 12. <clears throat> Fireplace would be firewood. Yeah, this thing in sunny meadows with the coal. I mean, this is the only place that actually has coal, right? But I remember it taking a little while before we figured it out. Maybe not. Maybe we got it right away. You can see the original puzzle process that we went through. Because it's... That was like... I didn't make like a video like this after I already solved it. Is that even a five? Hey, stop it. I think I heard... of one?! <laughs> what?! <laughs> Excuse me?! Wait, what is EMF1? Wait, what was that? Dude, we got EMF5 and EMF1 at the same time? What the hell? That is not a thing. That is a bug right there. That's amazing. Uh, that's a thing that c can only happen. I saw a, a clip of this before. And I was like, that is such a weird bug. Now, if you know what the the emf uh the normal emf device what the hell dude this is insane the normal emf which is the one like with the this one right here i literally have one in front of me this one right here if you turn it on it defaults oh my my house is haunted apparently there's always a light on this just means that it's on so emf1 means nothing because it's n like as soon as it hits two that means there's something detected. It literally says it on the device that it's like that there's nothing. Nothing around the first one, um, which is why EMF1 doesn't exist. Only EMF2, 3, 4, 5. But for some reason, there's a bug with the tier 3 uh, EMF that you can get an EMF1, which I am really curious how and w how that happens. Loot Perry, by the way. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Um, I'm really curious how that is even possible. Like, what causes that to happen? Very interesting, though. But yeah, there we go. We saw we saw a special bug. I don't know if this is, this is like, specifically, like, or exclusive to a specific ghost or something, or if it's, uh, it's not. Also, we need to find the... Oh, no, 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 we already got that one. We I showed you both the riddle and the UV. Uh, no Orbeez, unless this is not the ghost room, which could very much be the case. See, is it going to go down here? It is not going down here. Are you actually in this room? You're actually in the kitchen? Not really. Maybe bathroom? Nope, not the bathroom. How do you turn off the dots? Just by clicking it. If you click it, it turns off. Uh, ghosty pants? Turn on the... No, the... Pre did I not turn on the breaker? I swear I did, but the ghost turned it off or something. There's a bone. I know. I'm busy. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Where are you? Are you here? It's probably basement. Where are you? Are you here? Are you here? I'll pick it up. There you go. It's probably basement. That's super annoying in this. But you have that as the ghost room. That the basement is only one step away. So often you'll have a ghost roam into the basement and then suddenly be probably in the most annoying ghost room in the entire map. I think the basement hallway here has to be number one worst ghost room. And this one is, like, pretty close because they are basically the same, honestly. Okay, so I don't know. It's... Oh, what? Well, definitely not a Gorio <laughs> this time, at least. 
Uh, it's not even... It's probably twins, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably twins. Because it's, uh, touching stuff in such a large area. And the graph was absolutely fucking insane. Uh, this has to be twins. So what are we looking for with twins? We're not looking for ghost orbs. We're looking for spirit box. Let me guess. I'm gonna walk in here and I'm instantly gonna get spirit box. I'm calling it. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Okay, maybe not. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Okay, it is in day. It's in fact not a spirit, but I really want you to shut up right now because it's, it's insanely annoying. Area Loda, I think. Or Lada, thank you for the sub. 17 months. All right, we'll grab all this. See if we get orbs now. The fuck is the what the hell is happening with the fog you see it you see it roll on the wall here <laughs> what the fuck oh help ah! i'm fucking dying i'm dead Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> oh no. This is this is I hide in the most insane ways, I've realized. I don't actually hide, I just fucking use looping spots. Okay. Can you please show you hunted from here? It's another example of how the ghost hunts now are just starting completely quiet. Like I feel like this has to be a bug based on like a new sound system that they're trying. Uh and they're probably gonna fix it. Let's see, do we have any... Is it gonna be freezing? It is not freezing, what? Not orbs either? I have to turn on the slide so I can look there. Okay, so no orbies. Unless this is not the ghost room, but then why the fuck is it so cold here? So no orbies, no spirit box, is it? It can't be Gorio, right? Please, no. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Was it faster or slower there? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Like, I can check other rooms, but it's, like, freaking super cold in here. And if I go outside, it's gonna be warm, right? Yeah, it goes up immediately. I think it was normal speed. Was that just a... Wait, was that an early hunt? Why is it not hunting right now? It was not a right shoe, right? Why are you just so chill suddenly? Excuse me? I'm gonna grab the salt. I need to get UV. I need to use salt more often. Or fingerprints. Fast twin speed. I mean, I think I just was in line of sight a little too long yet. I mean, obviously we have EMA 5, but that doesn't really lead us anywhere. Uh, we should place this as well. Uh, actually, we have one in the map. We should grab a... Um, incense. I think it's an Oni. I mean... Did we... I don't know. Maybe. We can see... We can loop it. It's another EMF 5. Let's just put this... Please step in this before you hunt again. Come on. We'll put this on this. Alright, come on, ghost. Do your thing. I have the... Here, the best UV light money can buy. Okay, it is not UV. Unless the tier 3 UV absolutely stinks balls. Um, no UV. Also no Wraith. So it's probably going to be Dots again. Hunting on too high sanity. I should check my sanity. You're right. Did we Wait. Excuse me? Is my sanity just above... Why is it not... Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. I was just going to say, why is it not hunting right now? And then it immediately hunts. Okay, so it's normal speed. So none, none of these. It was 37. Wait. Oh, here we go. It's an Oni! Wait, what? Dude, fuck you, man! Right? It's like doing some really insane blinks. 
All right, that is just stupid. Wait, does that mean it's no? It's not spirit box. Wait, oh, it's freezing. Oh, of course, it's fucking freezing like a million years later, dude. What is wrong with freezing lately? I don't know if this is just me, but like, it's it's stuck in place. Unless they fucking, <gasps> unless they nerf the tier one e or thermo without telling us. I don't know why we're not getting freezing anymore. All right, well. Uh, I'm so glad I'm not playing Nightmare Mode, because I probably wouldn't even have gotten the EMF 5 if I was. Um, that should be an Oni based on the just constant visibility that we had during the hunt, but oh boy, was that a little weird. But remember the riddle! Um, feed me black stones, or something. Uh, the fire will grow, and I will provide warmth in this snowed in hell and home, or something like that. There you go. It wasn't even only very, uh, weird. So if you haven't already figured out the riddle, the answer to the riddle is the only place in the entirety of Phasmo where there is, uh, coal, which is the black stones they were talking about, which is obviously Sunny Meadow. So we're going to go to Sunny Meadows with snow weather to find ourselves another puzzle of the, or piece of the puzzle. If I can please play the game. Thank you. Okay, so we need snow. I like how they used all the different weathers. New. Uh, and we just bring a UV light this time, right? Don't give me this again. Uh, I don't think anything else. Oh, no. No, but the secret in the lobby. Yes, there's like seven secrets in the lobby, and I know about all of them. Are you doing the riddle again? Because we have 100% confirmation that this is real now because we got sunny meadows uh, or we got uh, point hope on the map in maple lodge so it is now like before it was speculation like we 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 had po the name point hope well what does that mean we didn't know what it was going to be now we even know it's going to be a fucking um uh, lighthouse map and everything yeah i was super visible there did i oh no no breaker my POV settings, just max, 90. Maxed out. What is our board, board is, or what is our crystal session? It's board. But yeah, especially with the Halloween update, there's lots of little things in the, in the lobby now, but there's also several secrets that have been there for a long time. Are we gonna loop a lo ghost in a lighthouse around the light? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> I think it's back here. So this is the kitchen in uh, Sunny Meadows. It's also cold here. This oh no, because we're running with snow, obviously. And if you bring a UV light, which it didn't say anything about UV, but you should just know that. Uh, and you go over here, you find yourself, very importantly, the P which was one of the main things we were still missing for the other one. So let's just quickly hop back to the lobby. I'm not actually going to play a Sunny Meadows map uh, or Sunny Meadows round. That's going to take forever. So right now, what do we have? We have ourselves uh, O, I, uh, N, and P. And this is going to be a T. It's going to spell... So it's not in order. It spells point. Uh, this is the T. We didn't see that one, right? Did we see that one? I don't, I don't think we did. Point... And then here, we have the uh, P again. We have the O, and then the two things that we haven't seen. Uh, wait, no, we saw this one. This was H uh, in Willow. Uh, hope. So we have point hope, which this was all we had to go off. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna end it here with the, with the riddle. We can, there's still, uh, if you, if you're curious, let me read for, for you where the riddles are. If you want to find them for yourself, obviously close your ears if this is spoilers for you. There is one on Ridgeview. There's one on Ridgeview, which leads you to the prison. There is one on Bleasdale, which we saw, which leads to Grafton. There's one on Edgefield, which leads you to the Tanglewood one that we already saw. There's one, this one is really important. There's one on Prison, which is a really stupid one. It is actually on the truck. So you go to Prison, there's a riddle on the truck, which leads you to High School. Because for some reason, every single small map, so Willow has one, Tanglewood, Camp, Woodwind, Ridgeview, Bleasdale, Edgefield, every single small map has one, except Grafton. It drove me absolutely insane when I was solving the riddle. Originally, 
originally. I literally checked Grafton for an hour straight looking for this riddle until CJ came into the into the stream and was like, uh, maybe you should look somewhere else because this is not <laughs> this is actually not where riddles. I don't know why they did every single small map and then not uh grafton it was really confusing so for some reason prison has a riddle uh so yeah that is uh that's one that you should know obviously i'm not gonna explain all the riddles you can figure that out for yourself so yeah this spells point this spells hope that was all we had originally but then they released the new maple lodge and in the new maple lodge they suddenly have once again point hope and it's confirmed that it's now a lighthouse map. So I don't know when this is going to be coming out, but you might be watching this in a few months from now, maybe even this year. I don't know. I feel like uh, we haven't seen a new map. In a I mean, we have seen Maple Lodge, obviously, but they also, which by the way, this is another announcement that they really haven't done very publicly, or at least I haven't seen it anywhere. Uh, they have a new artist working on the game now uh, called Zach, I think. Zach or Zach, or I think it's Z-E-C. Uh, who has apparently been doing a crazy job. CJ and Zach have been working together, uh, and they've been absolutely uh, going crazy with artists' work. They have done the entire Halloween event. That was all they're doing. Uh, they did the entire uh, Maple Lodge rework together. Uh, so yeah, uh, CJ and Zach are, are, are a dream team right now, and they've been doing a lot of artist work. So who knows? Maybe they're working on or Point Hope as well, and we're going to be seeing that soon. But... Once again, this is all just speculation. I am, it is still speculation because who knows, but we have such a like obvious track record here. We had, uh, so if you don't know, uh, in the truck, let me quickly hop into a game. Uh, thing with just literally anything, doesn't matter. I should have hopped into Maple Lodge. So in the truck, there is this thing, which you can still see it right now. Um, there is this photo right here. And I think there was another photo previously. This is the photo of the campsite map, the Maple Lodge campsite map, which is was put into the game very sneakily as a little Easter egg on Maple Lodge is coming. And literally like one or two weeks after this Easter egg was put into the game, they released the map. The other thing, which was on Old Asylum, I can't show you that because it doesn't exist anymore because Old Asylum is gone. There was a room where uh, it had like in UV on the wall, I'm going to a better place, sunny meadows. It's going to be my uh, my heaven or something like that. I, I forgot it. I have a video on it on YouTube somewhere about it, uh, which led to sunny meadows. So they already have a track record of two maps that they have given little uh, information about and then put it in the game. Obviously this right here, people are gonna be saying, look, it said strange affair at the lighthouse. I have never took that seriously because this has been there from day one. From day one that Phasmo came out, there's been this this like, uh, this like this, uh, news clipping on the wall about uh, a lighthouse, but who knows? Maybe they planned it from the very beginning and this has been planted here uh, for the longest time and they just never got around to make the lighthouse map. But yeah, with the, the Maple Lodge also confirming that Point Hope is the name of a lighthouse, I can say with 99% certainty that we're going to be seeing a lighthouse. Which let me know how you think it's going to be, uh, how you think it's going to look like. Um, I don't know. I hope it's going to be a relatively small map. So instead of it being like a huge map uh, with like a whole island and everything, I hope they're going to focus on like, like keep it like new Maple Lodge where it's like all pretty cordoned off. Like it could be cool if it was like a big island, but if it's another media map, I don't see myself playing it all too much because I mean, it was the same thing with Maple Lodge. When that got added, it was literally the map that I personally requested to CJ to be added. And then it was added. And I still ended up like after a few months, pretty much dropping it out of the rotation because medium maps and the bigger maps are just not as fun to play on for me personally as a solo gamer but that might just be because i'm a solo player maybe for people that are uh like not that they play in groups every time they they play on media maps all the time let me know anyway uh i hope it's gonna be coming soon relatively soon because we have been starving for some new content this year uh we got i mean we got the we got the item update but in terms of um like in terms of the major updates, like there's been, there was Sunny Meadows, right? There was Sunny Meadows and there was the items, which are big, but is they were so incredibly spaced apart 
that was sunny no sunny meadows was not was that this year i the time is fucking convoluted i i have forgot but anyway especially after the halloween event uh not having any additional content in it and them hyping up that there would be like a small content drop uh in 9.1 makes me think that they probably didn't get to finish all of it because of the fire because of uh, going to TwitchCon and stuff like that, and hopefully they are sitting on a like a egg of content, and they're just gonna hatch that and release it before the end of the year. I really hope that around Christmas we'll see another uh, semi uh, big content drop. Uh, at least is what it, uh, my 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 hope is. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching over on YouTube. Uh, I know I've been talking a lot, so thank you so much for listening. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely games here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim or click the link in the description down below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.